see you guys were already here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Brandon and Brassel. That is if YouTube is actually working. Which I'm not positive of. Well, maybe you are here. Maybe YouTube is working. Yay! Good. Brandon, thank you for the host over on Mixer. Very nice. Oh, we also know that's now working. <laughs> Lil Mousy, put the host on Twitch. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lil Mousy. <laughs> Man, I don't even know. I've had some family drama to deal with today in the middle of some of the other stuff that's been going on. It's one of those, the more I try to get something done, the more obstacles get in my way to prevent it. You ever had one of those days where you just want to, I don't know, turn everything off? Kind of feel that way. Had days like that. Mm. When isn't there family drama? Oh, well, see, I have a uh, pretty much zero tolerance policy when it comes to family drama. That's why some of my family doesn't, uh, doesn't talk to me too much. Because that's all they are about is drama. And then when family drama dr jumps drops into my lap, I'm not a fan. They know I'm not. Let's get, yeah, let's bring the card up. You guys all pretty much know what it's going to be tonight anyway. Yeah, I'm getting there. Actually, don't have a huge list right now, the auto host yet. It's still just showing Little Mousy for me. So that's okay. Understand, told family I want no more from them. Full-on drama dragons. Yeah, exactly. I hear ya. Alright. So, let's see here. I'm just looking real quick, see if there's any... Ah, oh, here we go. The auto hosts are in. So we all we already know about Little Mousy. We got Myru Frost, Eponia, Saradak, John KY Blue, Brandon, Prongs Lady 4, and Dat Dabdo. Thanks to everybody. For the hosts, the auto hosts, and all that good stuff. We're gonna get started here with the game very, very soon. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, little mousy. Things go the way I think they're going to go. There's going to be another person on my list that's not going to be talking to. Ah, just in time for the holidays. Got to love how the how timings work that way. Like it's done on purpose, I swear.
All right, here we go. Tonight on the Friday free game feature, we have Stein World. This is a retro MMORPG. How retro? Well, like Legend of Zelda, give, give or take 16-bit style graphics. So it's a 2D MMORPG. Developed and published by Page 5 Studio. You can run this on pretty much, hopefully, anything that runs on a browser. Because it's you can run it on on uh, Firefox. And I, I think they said Chrome. I'm not exactly sure. It, but you can run it on browsers. It has its own client that you can uh, get from itch.io. We're going to give it a try. Uh, a little bit different tonight. Anybody that is on Final Fantasy, that's that's quite strange. I have no clue. Anyway, the uh, anyway, what we're doing is we're gonna ha I'm gonna be in the Discord, but it but it's I'm gonna pull in anybody who is currently playing the game if they want to join in. But you gotta be playing, right? Anyway. Let's go get started with Stein World. That way we can talk while we're playing. Makes it easier. All right. Game, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Launch the game. Zaz, how's it going tonight? You choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. There's another saying that's, that's even more relevant, I feel, considering the situation. And it's... Uh, Another, uh, you may not have heard this one. Uh, somebody told me this one once, and it's very wise. That is, no one can hurt you quite like family. So keep that one in mind. All right. Let me get in here with the password. Uh, there is the only one server, from what I can tell. There's a Europe one and it's the only server I see. Alright, let me get switched over to the game here for you guys. There we go. Alright. So, there we go. I know that uh, Gamer Boy said something about showing up tonight. And if he is, that's awesome. Oh, shit. I need to move my browser over real quick. Oh, browser. Browser, move. Move over here, browser. There we go. Be a good browser. There we go. All right. It work on devices it should work on anything that has a browser you can go go look it up you can look up stein there's a stein world just look at just look up stein world or stein dot world maybe all right there we go all right player hub right i'm gonna close that and let's get let's get going uh, let me see. Does that look okay? That looks fine. Sorry, just making sure everything else is good. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. Cleaning lady. You're finally awake. By the way, my character name is what it normally is in MMOs. Here for H-E-R-E-F-O-R. -E uh, you were drinking a lot yesterday. Come to me in the hallway. I found some of your clothes. You move with WSD arrow keys. Or swiping with your phone screen. There you go. It must work on some kind of devices. Oh, man. I'm only in my underpants. Basically, all I did was make my character. Hey, there's Brassel. I see him. There's Brassel. The original Harvest Moon. It could be, Zaz. It really could be. Oh, here we go. Brassel, Brassel I'm naked. Don't look. <laughs> All right, come here and talk to me and interact with someone. Proceed while standing directly beside them. Okay. I get all kinds of stuff while cleaning the rooms of this inn. Get your clothes back. Give me. 
Just found shoes and trousers, but maybe I can get you a shirt. Someone left a shirt in the West Room. Go get it and come back to me. Pick something up. Interact by pressing E or long tab. I assume that's a mobile thing. An exclamation mark means they have a quest. Yellow is new. Gray is unfinished. Green is finished, and you can have a reward ready. Ah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Accepted. So how do I open my inventory? Ha ha. Equip. Equip. There we go. We're not totally naked. This brassel. It likes a bit, a little bit of lag. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, it might. That looks like a shirt in the West Room. This also looks like a shirt in the West Room. Looks like there's shirts everywhere. Whoa, you received a used shirt. Well, I mean, their servers are in Europe. They only have the one server, and it's in Europe. At least for now. It's in Alpha, from what I understand. So, there's that. Find all kinds of stuff. Find the shirt. You're searching for your Stein. I have not seen it. Maybe the innkeeper knows something about it. So, yes, uh, the reason why it's called Stein World, apparently, is your character uh, has lost their, like, family beer Stein. <laughs> Right, so that's the important thing. Before you can go downstairs, you gotta put on your clothes. Open the inventory, drag and drop. Okay, yeah, got it. Put on your clothes. Equip. There we go. Put on clothes. Okay. Maybe the innkeeper. Ask the innkeeper downstairs. All right. Brandon says for those of you on mobile devices will not work, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, but yeah, there's a difference, though. I mean, there's Android, there's iOS, right? Like, it may not work on one or the other. That's like saying just because it doesn't work on Mac, it won't work on Windows, right? I don't know. You'd have to see what devices it works on. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the innkeeper downstairs, right, knows something. All right, accept. What, what is that? Why is there a bag above her head now? That's weird. Game won't let you register. I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm going to go downstairs now. There's Brassel. We're supposed to talk to the innkeeper. Look, is that a doggy? Fluffy. Fluffy has a thousand health. Only how much do I have? Fifty. I feel very inadequate. You have Android. Could be country dependent? Oh, that might be too, yeah. Zaz got a point. Could be country dependent. But the Brandon and I are in the same country. I don't know. Ask the innkeeper about your stein. There you are. Last night was fun. Wait, you lost your family stein. My God, it was so beautiful. Maybe some of the guests who are still here know what happened to it. That's right. Brassel is too, but Brassel's in. I, I assume Brassel's playing on PC. All right. Well, I guess I want to go talk to these guys. They're they're nearby. Heard someone lost a stein here while drinking. You got the game, you just can't register for it. I always keep my stein at home so I can't lose it. Mm. Uh, let's look at our quest log. Ask NPCs if they have quests for you. Oh, it's probably supposed to talk to the barkeep. There's some people with unfinished business. Need another drink? Oh, I can't do that quest. What about the what about the bar barkeep here? What can I get you? Food or drink, perhaps? They're all level two. I'm level one. Man, I'm going. Oh, they they got the quest. State province dependent, right? Local loss. There you go. 
Your, uh, your county doesn't allow you to play. No, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Maybe next week the game will be available. Man, I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. You know, just because I say that the game is available, I, I can't promise that it's available on every device known to mankind. You guys realize I stream mostly on PCs? In fact, I always stream on PC. So, it's availability on other devices. I... It's a bonus. If it is. If it's not... Too bad. Right? Like... <laughs> Need more firewood so I can cook some steaks. There should be some in the basement. Alright. Uh, can I just grab more quests from him? Get wine from the basement. I'm already going to the basement. Bottle of wine. Oh, good. No rats in the basement. Oh, you're going to give me a weapon right now or not? Let's see. Little rats crawling around. Yep, kill, kill some rats. Looks like he's going to give me the item. Yes, he did. Good. Prepare Bailey his steak and wine. I'm going to prepare his meal. Uh, what I... Okay. I'll tell you something that I heard. Saw. Right. Well, that looks like there might be a little entrance down here. Can't figure out the newfangled devices. Don't own the newfangled devices. Don't care. Don't own. Don't care. That is not... I thought this would be like a hatch to the basement. That doesn't look like a hatch to the basement. Well, this looks like downstairs. Is this a downstairs? Aha! The basement! Yeah, truth be told, if it's not on PC, I really don't care. How do I... Aha! Click! We click... We click and we fight. There we go. What's this? Anything? No. Yeah, if it happens to be on other stuff, great. Otherwise, oh well. You know, maybe it'll work. I mean, I'm all a fa I'm a fan for cross compatibility. But I mean, if they don't offer it, they don't offer it. What can I say? Take it up with the developer. Not my problem. All right. Our health is kind of kind of not so great right this minute. Maybe we should go level up. We need to go find some wine and what else do we need? We need wine and we need some firewood. Firewood. Can I obtain firewood from something? Not from the barrel. Got to be some firewood in here somewhere. Go away, mouse. There's firewood. Aha, how much firewood do we need? Just one. One firewood, one wine. Is this any urge to further troll Shen about his age? I mean, everybody knows I'm old. And 1930 is obviously my birth year. Obviously. See, there you go. Brandon. Brandon knows. Brandon knows the score. Got stuff talking about. We got talking about social security pays and everything. That's right. I mean, obviously that old. I forget how many rats I'm supposed to kill. I should probably look at that quest too.
Firewood, wine. Oh, five rats. We got it. Got it. All right. But yeah, if you guys do join the game and you have mic, uh, I know Brassel doesn't have a mic, so that that kind of complicates things a little bit. I guess there's always, you know, zone chat. But I figured it'd be easier to go into a Discord channel. So if you do, tell me. You don't sound that old, so 1930 can't be your birth year. Then why would it be in my name? It's got to be. That's got to be it. All right. Kill the rats. We got them. Hey, we're level two. Yay. Oh, we leveled up. Prepare Bailey steak and wine. Bring Bailey his meal and I'll tell you what I know. While you're at it, the dishes for Bailey, be kind to bring it to him. Sure. So do we actually have the steak and wine? I don't see it. Find it better not to ask that question, Mel, so you'll never get a straight answer. <laughs> Pretty sure I've told you guys my real age several times. You just don't believe me. Uh, that's probably because... You know, I'm I'm I keep telling you other things and you don't believe that either. You just haven't figured out what the year is anymore. Better equipment at the Smith. Won't recommend to challenge him right away. Getting your stein back from the bandits. You have to prepare yourself. The bandits are tough and well armed. Smith might be able to help you. His workshop is next door to the east. All right, well, we got to go find Bailey. And it should be someone with a green. Even though that that's Bailey right there. But I'm going to go talk to Bailey. Get Bailey's meal. Food has arrived. Send my regards to Tibor. All right. I guess that's how that ends. Seems around late 40s. There you go. There you go. There's an age. Bring Bailey steak and wine. W-H-I-N-E. I just noticed that. Got into an argument with bandits. Luckily, one of the guards intervened. Nobody got hurt. Most of the guests left or went to bed. Might have seen one of the bandits acting really shady way after the party. May have talked, taken off with the mug or whatever it was. All right. Was this vendor trash? Yeah, it actually says trash. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, I just noticed this. It, it even tells you that it's a free account. I wonder if there's something about that. Player stats. We can look at that. That's a lot of stats. Professions. Premium to enable whatever the third education is. Thought I'd just open up some of these boxes to see what they are. I was kind of wondering if there was something we could do when we leveled up. Like, you know, increase the skill. Oh, hey, you know what? We could create a party. We can create a party. I can put Brassel in here. Ha ha! 88? Yeah, no, that's an age, too. That is also an age. And that would be... That would happen to be my age if 1930 is my birth year, which it must be, because that's the number in my name. So... 
that has to be it. Collect dirty dishes. Make yourself useful. Collect some dirty dishes. Uh, I guess. I should probably do one quest at a time at the moment. Collect dirty dishes. Go get five plates. We'll come back and get more. Quests, that is. You're saying yours is a 1988. Oh, I gotcha. How many do we have? There we go. Dirty dishes collected. Complete mayhem. Wonder what the bandits were up to yesterday. All right, let's see what other quests he has. Help Ania serve the guests. Please go to Ania and ask her if she needs some help. She's standing at one of the tables. All right. Waitress. So the drink served the guests. I know you from yesterday. You want to know something about yesterday evening? I can tell you what I know if you help me serve the guests. Fine. Must be this is our XP bar down here. Got it. Tell you what I know as soon as guests have their drinks. All right. I uh, better look at the quest details. I need to actually pick up drinks. I don't think so. Andre and Jeppe. There's Jeppe. Let's go talk to Jeppe. Serve guest. Don't tell my boss I'm here for a drink. Normally I should be on patrol. Thanks. Bandits are causing more trouble. All right. Now we need Andre. Is that Andre? That's Andre. Here you go. You drink, sir? Leave me alone. I want to drink alone. Here. About damn time. I already finished eating. All right. Quest done. There we go. Guests are happy. I'll tell you what I know. I didn't catch any details. According to some of the guests, there was some kind of fight between the two drunk guys. That's all I know. All right. It's 1988 would make you about 30. Busy doing quests to do math. My old age, I can't, uh, I can't multitask very well. <sighs> Who's trolling who at this point? I need another drink. Barkeeper, fill my stein. Last night was a blast. You're one hell of a drinker. Do you mind getting me another drink? I completely broke. Oh, now they want money from me. Damn it. That's how it always works. much is a drink? Get a drink from Haven. Yo, barkeep. Oh, ask for a drink for Bailey. You need a drink? Here, you have it. Oh, thanks. That's easy. You're not going to charge me? There you go. Thanks for helping another brother out. Partying with you is way more fun than drinking with the bandits who were here yesterday. Bandits. Many, many bandits. And how much XP are we going to need? Goodness sakes. They say multitasking is a woman's job. Huh. I, I've heard that women are better at multitasking. I have heard that. Ask people in the end about your stein. Here we go. Ask people in the end if they know something about your stein. Maybe someone has seen it. Track with the quest log. Open it up with the button. Yeah, we know. All right. Ask Tibor, Haven, and Bailey. Ask 
uh, Andre. Well, Bailey's, uh, Greg is up here. Ask about the Stein. You were drunk last night. I've never seen something like that. If you gave me something to drink, I could tell you about your Stein. I already gave you something to drink. All right. Haven Elliot is the bartender. Ask about the Stein. As I remember, I always filled your Stein till the end. Maybe you lost it while going to sleep. Right. Tibor Terrell? Where's Tibor Terrell? That the, that's the cook. So many people yesterday. If you help me here in the kitchen, I can tell you. You already did. I see how this works. It's a runaround. I see what's going on. I see what's going on now. Yeah, Zaz, again, that's, yes, I've, I've heard that as well. Yep. On, in general, women are supposedly better at multitasking while men are better at concentrating on one particular thing. That's, yeah. That's the, uh, the generality. Hope you found some clues. Good luck with your search. No, actually, you guys just ran me around in circles. That wasn't very. That wasn't very helpful. That was not helpful at all. All right. Do I see any other quests here? I do not. I may go. May go back upstairs for a minute. See if there's anybody else up there that has a quest. I don't see hardly anyone. Oh, I see a bunch of old shirts. And the innkeeper. There's somebody in here, but they don't have a quest. The door must be locked. That's weird. I doubt we can search. Can we search this? No? That would have been kind of cool. Who noise cues men are not listening? Because they are already busy? Probably. All right, quests look like they're done. So I guess we'll go out one of these areas here. Far Shore. So we're supposed to go over to the blacksmith. Should be over here next door. There's somebody right here with a quest. Is this a notice board? Can we... Pull on a board. New cooking recipe. Burn the pig at whole. Okay. Burn the pig at whole. Nature is my home. Home and Wanderfoot. Unless I'm hungry. I live outside in the forest and only come to the village from time to time. Unfortunately, I can't read. Can you check the bulletin board where there's job offers? It's right there on the right side. I can do that. And it gives me a healing potion. That's cool. Talk to Catherine. Not very... Uh, I'm not very often here. You should tell Catherine I am back in town if you see her. I've known her since she was three years old. She's a good friend. She should be somewhere in the west at the pier. All right. Well, that is how they got meat back in the day. Burn everything. Yeah. Burn the pig in the hole. I assume I have to go look at the message board again, though. I want to make sure people... Nothing about job offers. There we go. That's a good point, though. Oh, it says incomplete. What? Oh, ink, oh, ink. Yes. Beginner herbalism. Oh, that's cool. Um, drop items from inventory here to sell. Well, we can get rid of the little tooth. I have to pick it up. No. And we have to have inventory open as opposed to the hot bar. That makes a little more sense. Let's do it that way. There we go. Making some money. Making some money. Oh, and there was a sell trash button. Silly me. It was right there. Alright, so this said nothing about notices. 
The Rudyard Farm is looking for workers. Oh, each one is a little different. Okay, now let's go tell him. Rudyards are looking for workers. I'll immediately ask if they hire me. Buy something to eat for my first salary. Potion! We got a healing potion. Feeling, feeling great already. So, we can go to the pier to go talk to Catherine. Oh, that must be her. I can tell by her lovely green exclamation point. Have you seen my dog Rufus? Always young and runs away. Uncle Holman is back in town. As soon as I find Rufus, I will visit him. We have not seen each other for a long time. I'm glad he is back. Brassel, I hope everything's going good. I haven't. I don't know if I've seen you. I haven't seen you. By the way, anything new from Pro? Pro? Who's Pro? Prongsley? Uh, no. I haven't heard anything from her. I haven't seen any new streams or nothing. I don't know what's going on. My guess is, so she's in college. They probably had finals. Uh, you remember Tristan was very busy. Uh, oh, you know who did talk to me the other night, though? Um, Tony. Ratchet. Tony. He, uh, you know, he wants he wants to get together, do some stuff. We might see him tonight. And, you know, who, for all we know, the same may be true of Prongsley, right? Because finals basically being around the same time, I'm sure, for everybody. You know, everyone's probably just been busy with college. That is my guess. Gather Arizona. Asiona. Asiona? Asiona? Berries. Very worried about my puppy. Could you please pick five berries? Rufus does not eat them by accident. They're lethal to dogs. Red berries grow everywhere in the bushes here in town. All right. Red berries on bushes. Pick them before the dog eats them. Get away from a dog. I see you. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't touch the berries. Don't touch the berries. Stay away. Stay away from the berries. Dog, you're going to get sick. Damn, dog. Not streamed in almost like six months. Yeah, dude, it's been forever. It feels like it's been six months. I don't think it's been that long. I'm pretty sure it's been more like three... Maybe, maybe three. Two, maybe three. Oh, we need one more. Dog, don't eat the berries. Stay away from the berries. This dog's going to get himself killed. Now little Rufus can fool around without me worrying. So, lady, them berries grow back fast. If I was you, I'd keep worrying. You might want to consider getting your dog a leash. Just throwing that out there. Bring Racine green hill berries. You can bring these berries to my mother. She can use them today for cooking because they're not poisonous to humans. Live in the small wooden house in the north. Just follow the path. September 28th. So about three months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about three months. Let's go read this sign. I'm assuming they mean the, that up there. That's why I don't have a pet, right? I just get into trouble. Mayor John Haggard. We're not looking to the mayor. We're going to go over here and uh, turn this other quest in. This has got to be it. Maybe. There's Gilbert. Leech may not help dogs. Well, yeah, the leash may not help. But, I mean, it's better than him wandering around town near the deadly berries. Put him in a fence? Something? Hi, lady. I broke into your house. Would you like some berries? Every day only fish. Day by day. Here, has... Catherine sent you with berries. Thank you for bringing them. I'll use them for cooking today. Yay! That's why I like cats. Cats can still get into stuff. Don't ever leave chrysanthemums out around cats. 
if you value your cat's life. Every day only fish. Yes, we know. Talk to Gilbert. Can you look for my husband? See if he caught a big fish today so I can start cooking. Yep. Tomorrow you're going snow tubing in the mountains. Oh, cool. I'm not sure I know what snow tubing is. Is that like you get like a big inner tube and you slide down the snow? That's my guess. Cats do sleep like 90% of the day. Dude, I love my I love my cat. I got a cat that uh, he's he's my buddy. He's he stays mostly in my room because I have a couple other. My household has a couple other cats, and he doesn't get along well with them. But he loves people, right? So because of that, he stays mostly in my room. And when now that it's getting colder, he has taken he has taken to sleeping under the blankets. And dudes, it's so funny. Like a lot of times I'll go to get up. I'll go to get up for the day and he's, and he'll be laying, he'll be, you know, it's like, it's like people, right? He'll be laying on, it's like half on the pillow. Like he's laying up against it, but I got this little, uh, other thing, this little mat that's like reflects heat back, body heat back. So he can sleep on that for extra warmth. And so he's laying on that because I have it near the pillow. And then he's on, then his head's like on the pillow. And he's covered up. We got the blankets over both of us. You know, and I pulled my side, I pulled the blankets off. I'm like, I got to get up. He just kind of looks at me, puts his head back down, like, screw that. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm staying in bed. <laughs> like, cat, you're smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been skiing. I think that's a good way to break my leg. That would be an excellent way to break my leg. My father taught me how to fish. He learned it from his father. Let me guess. Wife sent you to ask if I caught something. I'm very proud. I caught a very big fish. If that's the fish, man, that's a big fish. A fish is at least half the size of us. Had a pet to be a squirrel or a raccoon. That would be kind of cool. Just don't let them, unless they're, like, marked or collared or something. Yeah, yeah that'd be difficult. I, I'd, you know, I'd have to worry about them getting out. Because then they'd interact maybe with the wild ones. It's so easy for them to interact with them. Oh, yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to keep, you'd have to keep really good track of them. We'll never, basically never let them out. Because so they could get, like, rabies and crap. Bring my wife the big fish I caught this morning. Yep. All right. Come here, big fish. That is a big fish. Let's open our inventory and look at the big fish. Does it say anything? No. We could trash it, which I think is hilarious. That'd be pretty mean. I guess I won't do that. I'd like to get my quest done, thanks, I guess. Oh. about time. I was waiting for a real catch all day. Finally, I can go on with food prep. Thank you for doing me this favor. Yep. Alright. Uh, we can go back to the smith, I suppose. For sure. For sure, for sure. Actually, I'm curious. What else is up here? <gasps> Chicken! Chicken! Wait, why did I get experience? I wonder if that's anybody's chicken. I don't think you guys mind if I hit this chicken. Chicken. We didn't get any, we didn't get any chicken. I wanted some chicken. Come here, chicken. Chicken! All right, fine. Don't tell anybody about what happened with the chicken. Gonna go sleep. Didn't sleep all last night. A lot of noise outside. Ah, that sucks. But yeah, no problem, Mousy. Take it easy. We shall see how this works out for us. Cats don't interact at all, though. They ignore you or they're assholes. No different than a goldfish. Oh, worse than a goldfish. 
At least the goldfish stays in his bowl, right? Cats just roam around and get into everything. At least most cats do. You know, that's another thing about why, why, like, why my cat is, is, is kind of awesome right now. He's getting older. He's getting older. He's an older cat. Not like super duper old. Like I guess you'd call him like middle aged, right? He's he's not so like get into everything curious anymore. Well, so are dogs. Beginner mining. Well, we're not we're not looking for her for that yet. A little early to learn crafting skills. Let's let's go see if we can find the smith. There he is. Uh, but yeah, you know, he's a little older. So he's not, he doesn't get into a lot of stuff anymore. He used to. He used to get in all kinds of stuff when he was little. But, you know, that's kittens, man. We, kittens are, they, they get into everything. So much work, not how to handle all this. Get better equipment. So you're telling me you want to rough up the pesky bandits. Unfortunately, my work doesn't come free. Unless you're able to pay me right away, I'll have to do, you'll have to do some favors for me first. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Bring Carrick and Rudy to Pitchfork. Oh, you mean chores. Ooh, dodge that bullet. Here's the fact they're service dog, but there's never service cats. Yeah, here's another fact. Uh, the CIA, the early days of the CIA, they tried to train cats as spies. It didn't work, as you can probably well guess. Mainly because the spies would run off pretty much as soon as, you know, they saw a mouse or they were hungry or anything because they're cats. <sighs> but yes, CIA tried to train cats as spies. It does take a lot of XP to get to level three, I noticed. You bring Carrick into the new pitchfork. She ordered from me a long time ago. They live the Rudyards. Live in the largest farm south across from the inn. All right. Let's go talk to this person while we're up here. Oh, it must be his wife or something. I don't know. Son, daughter, kid. Julia. Okay. Husband. Okay. Bring potatoes. I need some more potatoes for cooking. Bring me a bucket from the first floor. Dogs are loyal. Cats are assholes. Yeah, mostly. That's mostly true. That is mostly true. Again, there's that, you know, generality. In general, that, that would be the case. All right. Potatoes from the first floor. So I'm not on the first floor, or am I in the basement? I'm going to go upstairs. Are you potatoes? Are you potatoes? Bucket of potatoes. Oh, yeah, she did say a bucket, didn't she? Husband works, I cook for him. Thank you very much. Helped me a lot. Okay, thanks. You got a level four weapon? Damn. That'll be like forever before you can use it, though. All right, we got to go see the Rudyards? Live in the largest farm south across from the inn. The largest farm south across from the inn. Well, the inn's here. I'm going to guess it's this big building here. Very Final Fantasy-esque music there. The Rudyard Farmhouse. Yay, I see the green... I see a green exclamation. Out of my way, lady. I'm looking for the green exclamation. I'll get to your problems in a minute. Finally, my new pitchfork. Been waiting for this for six weeks. Tell Suburban you should work faster next time. No kidding. 
You look strong and experienced. Uh-oh, I don't, know, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Might be able to help Janus Hammer manage our rat problem. He's at the Eastern Fields trying to fight, mo fight these monsters. Oh! Oh. Okay. Thought this was going an entirely different way again. Thought it was going to be one of those type of games. I have to hurry. Soon we have the food prepared. Chickens go poof when you hit them. Yes, they do. It, it's kind of, uh... It's it's kind of kind of fun. Just bop, watch a chicken go poof. I've heard Ad Zerwick has a job on the grain field in the south where he needs help. All right. Well, I'll I'll get to him in a minute. So many times a cousin's cat purposely knocks stuff off the table. Yep. And scratching you if you sit in its chair. Oh, I was there for only a week. I wanted the cat to permanently disappear. <laughs> Can't imagine living with that. Wow. That cat sounds incredibly spoiled on top of other things. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be around a cat like that either. That cat definitely does not like uh, strangers. What it sounds like, that cat is... Kind of crazy. I tell you what, I had a cat once. There was this girl that I was dating, and it turns out she wasn't. She was kind of trouble. We're not going to get into full details on that. We'll just go. We'll just suffice to say she was trouble. I'll tell you what, my cat at the time. It was a different cat. It's not the cat that I have now. But uh, my cat did not like her. My cat did not like her. Me neither. Rather be in jail than with the crazy cat. Yeah, exactly. But so, but the cat wasn't like out and out, like constantly, like mean, right? Almost all girls are trouble. Well, that's a that's a fairly accurate statement, Brassel. I agree. But uh, but the, yeah, this this girl was trouble, right? So. Instead of my cat being, like, outright just evil, like that cat apparently was, this cat w made it very well known to me what they thought of her. Uh, so the girl, you know, the girlfriend was over a couple times before. Whatever, you know, she she spent she spent some time over, in, over with me and, you know, sleep in the same bed, doing stuff, you know, being a being couple. And uh, after, after my girlfriend left, the cat went to the bathroom all over exclusively on her side of the bed. Leaving a very distinct message of what that cat thought of my girlfriend. <laughs> Brandon, I will not say that in public unless you want to get your ass kicked. Yeah, I think it's. I, 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 he's he's probably more more true than than is you know. What's that saying? Truer than it ought to be. Bam, chicken, chicken. All right. Greenfield in the south, or eastern fields to fight monsters. Fighting sounds like fun. The cat was marking its territory. Well, one and the other. I would say that cat's opinion was not very high. Either that or, you know, cat was like, look, this is this is my boy. You stay the hell away alone. Stay the hell alone. Right? I don't know. All right, who are we looking for? Either way, that cat was sending a message. We're looking for Janice Hammer. Oh. There are rats everywhere. They're just everywhere. Where they only come from... 
Ridger has sent you to help with the rats. This is wonderful. Let's start right away. Collect rat traps. One of our field workers has distributed traps last evening. To the right of us, can you bring me five? Sure. And we're going to kill some rats. Kill rat field rats. There's still so many, despite the traps we've set up. Looks strong enough to kill a few of these. Kill six for me. Got it. Kill six rats. Collect five traps. Pretty sure that's Brassel over there. It is. Hey, Brassel. I'm going to kill this rat. Pow. Pow. Old rope? The rat had rope? That's weird. Rat. Get it away from... Yep. Do myself a favor and stick to bitching about cats. Leave my opinion on genders for another day. There you go. That's probably a good idea. There's something wrong with that rat. He looks broken. Let's get these other traps. And one more trap. Story time. Kill this rat. In fact, I should probably just finish up the quest. I'm not saying there won't be sto extra stories, but there already has been some stories kind of all day today so far. I'm telling you stories about my cat. Cats. And, you know, my, my trouble... My troubled girlfriends and my family drama. Uh, do I want to take a potion? Not really. Let's just grab another trap. Oh, some notice slow down there. Go turn this in. So we're gonna level up in just a second here. Collect the traps. Finish. We did it. Level three. All right, we got to kill three more rats. Family drama is the best drama? Something like that. All right. I'm not going to... I don't think I want to use my potion to heal like AFK. So... I guess while we're waiting, YouTube's fucking up everyone the next two days with them cleaning up. Dude, I'm worried about YouTube. Yeah, I'm worried about YouTube again, right? Like, that's that's not even the story that I actually have for the day. Um, but that is an additional, like, uh-oh. Yeah, YouTube's going to do some cleaning up, and people are going to notice a lot less subscribers on their channels. Some are going to be from accounts that have been deleted. Okay, that's fine. But then they're talking about these other ones that are going to be... They're going to crack down on people that are asking sub for sub. And they're going to they're gonna do something about that. And that is a problem, not because I do sub for subs. I'm, a, I'm not for sub for subs. But in my Discord are a lot of people... That I am subbed to other streamers and YouTube people, right? They're doing videos and streams. They're subbed to me. I'm subbed to them. We didn't sub for sub. We just happen to like each other's content. And we are subbed to each other. It's called community. I got a feeling, though, I'm not going to be surprised if YouTube all of a sudden goes, oh, you guys must be doing sub for sub. And next thing you know, we're in trouble for it. Right? Like, I'm worried about that. And I think we should be. Not because we, we've actually done anything wrong, but because YouTube is... We know this. YouTube is not good at distinguishing context. They've never been good at.
So they're probably going to paint everyone with the same brush. Anyway. The real story for tonight. Here we go. It's about an exoplanet. An exomoon, I guess might be a good way to put it. In a, in a surprise, first alien moon discovered big and gaseous. It comes from Reuters. Astronomers have pinpointed what appears to be the first moon detected outside our solar system. A large gaseous world the size of Neptune that is unlike any, any other known moon and orbits a gas planet much more massive than Jupiter. The discovery detailed by researchers was a surprise. Uh, they found this uh, back in October. Not only because it showed that moons exist elsewhere, they felt it was only a matter of time for one to be found in another star system. They were amazed instead by how different this moon was from the roughly 180 known in our solar system. Hopefully I don't screw up the, fuck up the algorithm and delete people like me who've turned off viewing history because their business is our own. Again, I think anything is possible. With YouTube, you, you can never be quite sure. All right, so they say it's big and weird by solar system standards. Columbia University astronomy professor David Kipping said of the moon, known as an exomoon because it is outside of our solar system. Let's sue him for it. Yeah, right. Good luck, man. See, you know the thing? There are a lot of people over the last, like, year that have had problems. They've had their channels taken down or, or at least suspended and then reinstated because there was enough support for them, but they were bigger channels. There's got to be a lot of smaller channels out there that probably died. They, they were probably taken down for the same reasons which were ended up being false, right? Falsely flagged. And you don't get to find out about it because they don't have a big enough voice. They don't have enough people to push for them. Who knows how many channels have just been closed because YouTube decided due to, a, you know, one person maybe complaining or the, the algorithm system, you know, just going, nope, something about that channel doesn't look right. Just shut it down. You have only 20 subs. Dude, a small channel by YouTube standards has to be very large because people with 5 million subs have been complaining about stuff. People, I mean, Markiplier made a video. How much, what has he got? Like 10 million subscribers? He made a video like not even a month ago complaining about some of the stuff YouTube is doing and their lack of communication. When a guy with 10 million subscribers, literally one of the biggest names on the entire platform, tells you your communication is subpar, you know there is something wrong. <laughs> anyway, back to the exomoon. Our solar system's moons are all rocky or icy objects. The newly discovered exomoon and the planet it orbits estimated several times the mass of our solar system's largest planet, Jupiter, are both gaseous, an unexpected pairing. They are located 8,000 light years from Earth. Kipping and study co-author Alex Tichy, Columbia graduate student, said their observation using NASA's Hubble telescope and Kepler space telescope provided the first clear evidence of an exomoon. But further Hubble observations next May must be used to confirm the finding. The exomoon is exponentially larger than our solar system's biggest moon. Jupiter's moon Ganymede has a diameter of about 3,270 3, miles. The exomoon is estimated to be roughly the size of Neptune, the smallest of our solar system's four gas planets, diameter of 30,600 miles. The exomoon and its planet orbit Kepler-1625, a star similar in temperature to our sun, but only about 70% larger. The exomoon orbits roughly 1.9 million miles from its planet. The exomoon's mass is 1.5% that of its planet. Kipping and... Tichy relied on the transit method already used by researchers to discover 
nearly 4,000 planets outside our solar system called exoplanets. They observed a dip in Kepler-1625's brightness when the planet and then the exomoon passed in front of it. The size and gaseous composition of the exomoon challenged current moon formation theories. You could argue that because larger objects are easier to detect than smaller ones, this is really the low-hanging fruit. So it might not be wholly unexpected that the first exomoon detection would be one of the largest possible, said Tichi. Findings published in the journal Science Advances. There we go. We've discovered an exomoon for the first time. And because our own technology is still limited, it's obviously very large. All right. Get everything else back in place here. There we go. All right. What other quests do we have to go do? I see Brassel hanging out over here. At least I think that's Brassel. Oh, yeah. I got to go turn in the field rat quest. Fuel, fuel, rats. Got him. Here's your gold. Still aggressive field rats. In the barn above us are much more aggressive rats. Try to kill five of them. Take this club. You will need it. Oh, shit. No, don't trash it. Move it over here. There we go. Um... Well, that's a resource. That's good. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. Tyler, no. We, uh... I just started this one, man. Give me some time, buddy. We have a bonus game tonight. It's a bit of a surprise. But since, since he's here... Tell you our own Hollow Productions, aka Tyler, has has made his own game. You may have noticed this in the Discord. Kill the overfilled rat. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'll tell you. We'll we'll leave the details. You can look on the Discord channel if you want, and you look in Discord. Otherwise, you know, just stay, you know stay tuned, and then after this, we'll we'll play it as like a bonus game. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a surprise double feature. Don't expect all the, like, you know, extra that goes with the normal double feature. But this is more like a bonus. One of the workers told me last night he's seen a huge rat below in the basement of the barn. Bring me your head when this beast really exists. Plot twist. The Exomoon is actually a Death Star. <laughs> yep. That is not a moon. All right, so is this the barn? Rat occupied barn, aggressive rat. All right, aggressive rat. Oh, look at him. He's all, he's on it. Oh shoot. Worker's pants plus 2 armor. Can I equip? No. Back here. There we go. It is broken bones. Too bad it's not the naked time double feature from August. That didn't go quite as well as we had hoped. Oh, the, the YouTube stream is working better for you? All right. Yeah, it'll still be a little bit. got an old school feel to it because uh, it'll take a while to heal. I don't know if I want to jump into a fight with aggressive rats without being at full health. Brassel, did you get all the quests? There's got to be at least one more you haven't done yet. Get you up to level three. Alright, come here, rat. Come here, rat. Got him. Yeah, you weren't here for that. 
had CIA and the FBI knocking on your door afterwards. No, we had the uh, we had the helicopters flying over. Remember? We had the black helicopters with the giant freaking gun on the side. We don't know if those were related. You know, the naked time stream plus plus the the, the helicopters. But we can we can infer as much. I think it's safe to assume that they were. Working on them, I went to the opposite direction. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. This reminds me of a lot of the older MMOs. Wait, what's this about attack helis? Noble, you weren't you never heard about that. You never heard about that. Dude. There was, so earlier this year, like during the summer, so a few months ago, uh, well, yeah, it was in August, yeah. In August, there was a, uh, a big, a big black helicopter with a big machine gun type weapon on the side flying over our neighborhood. And it was there for a long time. Long enough that it drew the attention of the neighborhood, right? Like half the neighborhood was outside going, what the hell is going on? And I go out to look and there's a big gun on it. And I'm like, you know, I don't think I'm, I think I'm going to go back indoors. I don't think we need to find out. My neighbor actually uh, called the police department and asked them what was going on. They just, they said it was a government helicopter was unmarked but it definitely had a gun yeah that was like months ago dude scared the hell out of everybody and then there was a story saying that it was like a sheriff's helicopter and it's like yeah if it was a sheriff's helicopter why wasn't it marked i've seen sheriff's helicopters they, they are they are clearly marked and if the police department said it was a government helicopter don't you think they probably meant federal Right? If it was the sheriffs, wouldn't you, don't you think they'd have just said it was the sheriffs? I don't know. We really have to look out for magpies in September. <laughs> Chen's epic naked has caught the attention of the FBI. Shiny beauty was shiny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Small town outside of Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, what do we get? Dirty fiber and old rope. How many more of these rats do we have to kill? We got a queen in here somewhere to kill, too. Oh, we got all the aggressive rats that we need. But we got to find the overfilled rat in the basement. This could be dangerous. This is going to be dangerous. We got at least one more rat we're gonna have to kill. I'm waiting for that one to move again. Needs to go up there. Away. Go away. Milky Mouse? Mickey Mouse preparing for Kingdom Hearts, yes. Getting ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That other rat's gonna respawn. Sucks. Oh shit, two on one. We need a potion. Shit. Dead. Wrecked, boys. Aren't we coming up the next double feature? Eh, in about a month. A little small farmerville, Canadian prairie. Shit goes down. It won't be here. Yeah, right? We have nothing to do but to sit and wait for the skull to disappear. Wrecked by two rats. This is old school. Old school RPGs. Respawn a graveyard. Oh, that's not too far away, I don't think. Did we lose anything for that? I don't think we did. 
just where we were. I think. So, not the worst thing ever. Those are big old bees over there. We are way too far over. Pretty sure we need to head back here. Oops. What's this sign say? I accidentally used a damn healing potion. There's, yeah, it's back here at the forge. Blame the whole thing in your town in August. Shenanigans on Trump. I don't know. I don't know. I used to blame everything on Obama. Why not blame it on Trump? That's the forge. We went east. I could have swore we went east to get to the... That does not... That, that bee is like level three. Oh, here they are. Here's the field rat. We need to go over here. Hey, Mapper, what's going on? Christmas party is done. You had a Christmas party? Chicken! Pow. Take that, chicken. Alright, here's your... Things for your aggressive rats. There we go. Why is everything the... <laughs> hey, Con. Why is everything the holotypes upside down? I don't know. Yeah, Mappert, new, uh, new mic. Yep. Indeed. It's actually been like that for like a week. I'm surprised you didn't say anything the other day when you showed up. Okay, how are we getting over there? We got like three rats that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, it's not totally crapped out, but it definitely has a short in the cord. Sorry, trying to concentrate on this fight. There we go. Concentrate on the Royal Rumble in Hearthstone. <laughs> I do want to play that. We're going to get to that next week on the Coast stream. And look at all those rats over there. This is not good. They're going to respawn and we're going to get killed. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go get this one's attention. Oh, there's definitely something big going to happen on YouTube soon. They're already working on something, and I don't like it. Only because YouTube is never good at change. They're never good at implementing change. All right, let's go over here and get this one. There we go. All right, we got that much done. Let's see if we can sneak past this one. Uh-oh. He wants to fight. All right, screw it. There we go. Before I go down in the basement, I'm gonna try to, to rest. This is gonna get ugly. T series. Yeah, whatever. Dude, I'll tell you what. T series is the best thing to ever happen to PewDiePie. That's that's what's that's what's up. I mean, he's got people. Dude's got people like at me. It's a meme level status, uh, you know, of getting people to subscribe, telling people to subscribe to him. It's brilliant. It's like the most brilliant marketing, you know, publicity stunt ever. Oh, look.
Look at the size of that rat. That's a big rat. That's a big rat. A lot of people here are pissed off the whole Canada does a favor for U.S. detaining that one woman. They're being targeted by the Chinese. Hopefully U.S. fixes this. I don't even know. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. And that's only, that's probably because the U.S. media often doesn't talk about a lot of things. They're good at that. YouTube is coming more pushing towards big comps rather than creators. Oh, I agree. It's been like that for a while. Subscribing to PewDiePie is not going to make it any better. All right. We don't know how aggressive she is. Uh, that's weird. I thought I had Brandon set as a regular. It's linked in Discord. You can find it on Discord. But I'm pretty sure I had Brandon set as a regular. You may not have all the privilege normally given to you on Twitch with the VIP status, Brandon. You know how Nightbot is. And it's YouTube. All right, here we go. Time's up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Oh, we're actually doing pretty good against him. Woo. We survived. We survived. We did it. Now we just got to not get killed by the rat on the way back out. Oh shit, he's looking at me. He smells blood. <laughs> Good old night bot. I yeah, I don't understand why that even happened because Nightbot, you should be a regular on YouTube, which means you should be allowed to post links. I'll have to go look at it. It was set right before. We'll just spam click it. There we go. Alright. I'm going to stay here at the stairs because we know. We know. That if we don't watch out. We go back downstairs. There's going to be another one. Let me go look at Nightbot real quick. Regulars. Oh, that's weird. Why are you not listed on my list of regular? Literally everyone else is listed on my list of regulars. How are you not on that list? That's weird. The channel URL for the user you want to add is a regular, right? I have to go get your channel URL. Probably. That's what I would have done, Con. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna have to look your I'm gonna have to look your channel address up separately because it's not just as simple as putting your name in. Cause that that would make sense, and YouTube's not about to be doing that. YouTube's not about that. I will add you after the stream, Brandon. Yeah. Basically. I'll add it after the stream. Alright, back to the game. See, I knew that rat would be right there. They're as deadly as the big one. See that? <laughs> uh, 
Con's not on Twitch. It has the word witch in the name. You don't support pagan websites. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. I mean, we could just, you know, run through there and probably get killed. That doesn't sound like a great idea. Yeah, it might be what happens, though. Oh, God, stop missing. You know it's funny though, Brandon. I bet you're I bet you're listed as a regular in Twitch on Nightbot. Almost guarantee you're you're set as a regular on Nightbot on Twitch. And yes, they are different settings because reasons. Yeah, of course. We well, should be doubly okay on Twitch. So not only are you set as a regular, you're also set as a VIP. We do this right, we make a break for it. Got it. Whew. We got that overfilled rat. Give me that stuff. Take these clothes as a reward. Shoes, shirt, and farmer shorts. There we go. Did a really good job. Tell my boss, Karen Rudyard, in the farmhouse to the left. You, we were successful. We were successful. Very important, Brandon. Yes. VIB. Yes. All right. So, currently wearing plus two armor. Those are plus one. These are plus two. These are shorts. Kind of like the pants, though. I like the worker's pants. Let's see what these look like, I guess. Look at that, it even did change. That's kind of cool. I don't feel like being a Boy Scout today, though. Uh, plus four armor. Nice yellow shirt. There we go. And some shoes. Hey, wait. Those are also plus one armor. I feel cheated. Do it for the memes. <laughs> Go ahead and put the old clothes down here. I'm sure we're going to probably sell them. For the memes. Uh-oh, Brassel died. It's okay. He's probably hanging out in the cellar again. His rats are nasty. High-level area. Don't go too far north. Instant death. Lovely. All right, we're going to go back to the Rudyards, which live in the farmhouse just over here. Uh, I think it's this farmhouse right here. Yes. All right. I like it was just a pig. The bear didn't sense me. Probably just the pig killed you. That sounds about right. I think this gold is a reward. Finish. I will tell Suburmi Kefi you've done a good job. Maybe he can give you something for it. He'll reward you. Yeah. You get a sword. A proper sword. That sounds pretty good. I feel like we didn't really lose anything for dying. It's just a penalty of having to wait. Which is kind of annoying. Alright. 
How did you know that I have a Discord server? Um, didn't you put a link to it in my Discord server? Wait, this is the Barn of Death. We don't want to go there. We want to go up here. You did a great job at the Ridger Farm. Oh, you DM'd a link. There you go. Hand over the pitchfork for me. I asked you to for this. Give the old sword that I found yesterday. Wait, you didn't even make this sword yourself? You just found this somewhere? Friend Nicholas needs some help. If you go to him, he should be somewhere east from here. <laughs> Mappert's like, wait, what? Mappert doesn't remember giving his, his Discord server to somebody. We gotta sell some stuff. Can I sell some stuff to this guy? That's skill stuff. Friend Nicholas needs help. Should be somewhere east. For all I know, it's the same guy we just talked to. Discord is so dead. Well, I mean, you do have to work at like growing the disc your Discord. I I mean everybody that has a Discord, you kinda have to have to act actively promote it one way or another. I'm going to go see if it's this guy down here. I don't think it is. No, it doesn't look like that it might not. No, it is not. Alright, well, I'm going to walk past this field and see if maybe... Oh man, this field just keeps going. There's a fence all the way around. There's a little path out. Or since you died, you were lost? And the graveyard's just on the main road. It's not too hard to find. If you go from the graveyard and you just go back, I think it's... Is it south? You'll go back to, like, where the rats are? The field rats? Don't promote mine way too personal. Well, I mean, a private Discord is not the same as a public or one you intend to try grow. Right? There's a difference. Smith sends you? That sure is kind of you. But you want to help me. Okay. So he's got quests, but how... How big are these quests? What level are these quests? Wasp workers collect grapes. Help us kill the wasps above. They eat all the harvest. Kill at least six of them. Well, we'll take the quest. He just doesn't remember it. That happens. And collect grapes. Got it. Right. I'm kind of thinking I should go do this other quest. We had another quest here. Grainfield in the south. I'm going to go that way before we start fighting these wasps. Let's try looking a little farther south. See if we can't find this other person. Uh, 
Uh, it's only it's only level nine now, not level twenty. That's a good sign. All right. Well, that's a quest, but that's not the quest we're looking for. Field worker. What? But that's at, that's Zerwick. That's who they were looking for. Oh, I guess the quest was to find them. You want to do a raid tonight? Appa Bear is live on Twitch. Well, she may not be live at one plus in the morning when we end. I, I don't bother. I don't bother to check who's live on Twitch when I start streaming. What's important is who's live when I'm when I'm ready to get done. Ask for a job. Yes, we are looking for someone. There we go. Not waste time to start right away. Okay. Destroy spider cocoons. You see these things, white things on the plants, the fields. Spider cocoons, when they hatch, they'll eat the whole harvest. Destroy the spider cocoons. I will reward you. Okay. That seems easy. I'm sure spiders won't pop out and kill me. That that wouldn't happen, right? I'm sure that won't happen. No? That didn't happen? That's good. How many do I have to break? Eight. That was one. Two. Three. Four. Die by spider? Yeah, we already died by rat. Five. Oh, there's one. Oh, that was chicken. My mistake. Six. Seven. And I think that makes eight. <laughs> yep. I should be saved. Thank you for your help. Yep. All right. So it is currently just me and Brassel in here, right? None of you guys have joined yet, right? I want to make sure in game. If you are, man, we'll get you into the thing. And if you have a mic, we'll add you to the Discord chat. All right. That quest is done. There's nothing else from them that they had for us to do. That's kind of weird. Nobody we have yet. We're going to have to probably go all, all the way back to sell this stuff. Probably not that far, though. I'm probably just complaining. Wait. That's a skill thing, I'm pretty sure. As opposed to a merchant. But maybe. Maybe. Ah. No, we can sell it anybody like that. Okay. Awesome. So we can definitely sell trash. We'll sell just hit the button, sell trash. I don't know about the other stuff. These are resources. These are old items. I can't imagine they're any good. Rip chicken, you always be mentioned. Wings of an angel. <laughs> yes. Far away from here. Yes. Good night, sweet prince. Sweet chicken. I can't imagine. That this is any better. No, that's better. But apparently that stone baton is level two? I don't understand. Oh, I think I understand there. And this is level three. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't understand. I'm going to go ahead and sell these. Why can't I sell that? Wait, it's not worth anything? Want to switch to the second game tonight? Let's 
Wow, are you bored of this one already, Brandon? The other game's not that long. I can guarantee you it's not that long. Why won't, do you not want to buy any of my stuff? Oh, only these certain things are, buy, are sellable. Cluck buck. There we go. Those aren't worth anything. That's why. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I can tell you the other game is very short. I haven't played it yet, but Noble said he he built the whole thing in like four days. It's it's not a long game. He told me it was not. All right, so these are not worth anything, which is sucks. I guess we're just going to get rid of them. I don't think we can break them down. I'm just going to trash them. Trash it. Get rid of it. That's right, get rid of it. Yeah, see? Throw that stuff away. All right. Quests. Ah, yes, we got to go back up there with the with the uh, bees. We're gonna go see if there's any other quests down here. You would think maybe if there were, they'd be really close by, but I don't see any. You're not seeing any. Not a long game. Takes Shed three months to finish. That sounds about right. A speedrunner I am not. Yeah, funny story. There was a guy actually, uh, there was a guy actually, uh, on YouTube left me, uh, left me a rude comment. This was months ago. I've told some of you guys about it before, but for those of you that haven't heard it yet, this guy made, you know, was like, oh man, you're so slow playing. It was one of the portal, one of the portal games, you know, and it was, yeah, I think it was the one that would, that like. And it wasn't Portal 1 or 2. I think it was actually the mod. Uh, the oh, What was the name of that one? It's like a full story. It's like, like an in-between kind of sequel. Right? But he's like, oh, you were so slow at playing it. Blah, 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 blah. Going on and on. And I'm like, dude, I've never played the game before. It's not like I was speed, you know, trying to speed run it or anything. Yeah, Mel, that's it. It's like, I've never played it before. And, and I was like, so, you know, it is what it is, man. I'm playing it live. It's not like I'm editing the video down or anything. Like, you watched a, you know, a thing. And what was, oh, yeah, he was complaining about how slow it was. But he left a, co he left a comment on the live stream that was, like, a month old. And I was like. I was like, I'm slow. It took you a month just to respond. <laughs> and uh, dude, dude finally came back and he, and, you know, and he was like, uh, you know, and, you know, and that's, that I also said, you know, like, uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not a speed runner. And he's like, oh, well, I, you know, I always look for like speed runs. I just assumed I'm like, did the title blind playthrough not mean anything? Because that's, you know. Like maybe you should, you know, consider some of those things just a little bit. We got lots of broken stuff there. That's strange. Disparaging. Rage quits halfway through a game. Yeah. I don't know. Soul Worker's worthy of uh, rage quitting. I don't know if that's considered rage quitting. It's more of just like demoralized quitting. A little bit different. 
Still hope YouTube will repost the live stream before this shitstorm hits. I'm hoping I'm hoping YouTube just doesn't uh you know collapse under its stupid own stupidity. Come here. Oh shit. I didn't think that one was gonna fly over to kill me. But he's gonna stay in his own lane. You want some too? That's what I thought. I don't remember how many of these we need. We need five of those. We kill six wasps. Yeah, alright. Pretty sure I shouldn't be standing on them and trying to swing. Probably not a good idea. YouTube goes down, Google is going down as well. Uh, not necessarily. A search engine, in theory, shouldn't have, you know, the YouTube's whole... Like, YouTube's not going... I don't think YouTube would, would will ap actually call it, you know, like, crash from what they're doing. And even if it did, like I don't, I don't see Google separately having some kind of other issue. I don't think it works that way. I don't think they're quite that intertwined. Now Google Plus, on the other hand, that's a point of contention. They were having some problems there. They integrated that into YouTube. I mean, they could. I doubt it. YouTube's algorithm was partly inspired by Thanos' finger snap. Yeah. Uh, that sounds very accurate. All right. Help me a lot. Here, take this diluted war base. That's actually better, but we got to hit level four to use it. Talk to Kalos. This was a huge success. Tell this to my boss. To the main house of the winery. Follow the path of the winery north and then east. Hold on. We got another quest to finish. We collected the grapes. Finish the work faster than my norm workers normally do, even though there are still wasps. Level up. Ding. Level four. We did it. Now we get to use the diluted war base. That there. Any resources? Those are all trash. Yeah, just put that down here for now. Diluted. Come here, you want to fight? So we got the level four. Get the next weapon. Ah, gotcha. One v one, me wasp. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna try to two v one me. So I'm gonna do this. There we go. I already know they can cross the little, the little uh rows here. Crap. Try to get out. Maybe I should have just took the path out. Oh, Morning Star level 5. Hello. Hello, baby. Alright, let's go back this way. So obviously this is not working. All right. Let's look at the quest. All the path to the winery north and then east. Let's check the map. Whoa. Wait a minute now. Trader. 
the graveyard. Wait, how big is this? Whoa, okay. Oh, well, that's a pretty good size map. It's bigger than I thought it was. Holy cow. Oh shit, Brassel, you're way down here. There you are. You can't be that... You're not that far away. There's a winery e north and east of here. All right. I'm going to try going east first because north is just through this mess. Oh, then maybe the sign will tell me. There's a shop. Oh, greater healing potions. Look at that. Robes of beginnings. You made it back? Okay. Sell trash. And that's a level five. And this is old. We can sell that. All right. Let's read the sign, see what it says. Far Shore Rusty Bucket Winery, north. We'll follow this path. Hello, chickens. Oh, it was at the end of the thing. Makes sense. Seen my teddy bear. He is pretty and soft. Find the teddy bear. Should be north from here in the barn, but there are wasps everywhere. Got it. You don't find a teddy bear. And we're going to talk to Kalos. Kalos. It's in the main house. All right. Well, let's grab these quests while we're here. There he is. Oh, I didn't mean to attack you. Certainly clicked instead of hit E. Find some eggs. Need some eggs. Can you get me from out, get them from outside? They should lie there everywhere. Need three eggs. All right. So right now this game doesn't uh, like. We went from this funny idea of a beer stein to pretty standard fetch quests. Heard you helped with our wasp problem. Take this as a reward. Those shoes aren't any better than what I have. Thanks. I guess I can at least sell them if I want. You see my son. I'm sure he's in the cellar celebrating with his friends again. They're drinking all our wine. Go find him. Tell him he should start working. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good quest. All I have to do is tell him to go get back to work. Quit being slackers. Um, hello? Again? Do you, do you keep leaving and coming back, Mapper? Are you okay? That's not the basement. That's the upstairs. We went through the wrong steps. That's okay. We'll just keep... We'll just keep trying. Actually, I want to see if there's anybody else in here. No quest, though. You are worthless to me. Where's the cellar? This looks like it would be a place for a cellar. Aha! Alright, where's that guy at? Father's so annoying, he should relax a bit. Let me have fun. All he knows is work, work, work. Hit, come drink with us. Hit, hit. Can you ask Anissa if she likes me? I'm too afraid to ask her for myself. Please do not be obvious about it. Oh, God. 
Give me slider a note. Do you like me? Yes or no? What are you saying, Dieter, as a crush? I did, I knew it, did know it, but I am not sure if I like him back. But he has money and everything. Oh, damn. Please tell Dieter that I am sure, not sure that I love him back. Back and forth feelings. But I think I love him. I just don't know. Uh huh. He loves his money. She made sure to mention his money. She's not sure. That means I still got a chance. Yeah, dude, trust me. I don't I don't think you want that woman. Tell my father that the party will be over and he should no longer get on my nerves. Yeah, I think that'll go over real well. Sure it'll go over real well. Any other people down here hiding in the corner? Yeah, but ha hell of a party over here, man. What's going on? Who's this guy? Drunk guest. More wine. Hick, hick. Hey, you, get me as many bottles of wine as you can carry. Party has to get better. Oh, boy. Sure, let's let's contribute. Six bottles of wine. Got it. Those are big bottles. Oop. There we go. More wine. That's about time. Where what where were you so long? He's drunk. Alright, let's go back to dude's dad. Be like, yeah, your your son says you're you're an asshole. He wants you to get off of his case, man. <laughs> Everything you see around here belongs to me. Don't make any trouble. What should I do with this useless boy? Whatever. The more important things I have to care about. Take this as a reward. Those wasps are a nuisance. I think they're trying to build a hive in the north. Kill the wasps up in the hills and I will reward you. Whoa. Level 5 gear. You can't wear that stuff yet, dude. All right, what other quests do we got then? Oh yeah, eggs. Let's go get some eggs for the chef. They're just outside. There's some eggs. Need three of them. Oh, look at that. Some eggs. Thank you, chickens. Back inside. Thanks, now I can finish with the cooking for today. What are you up to, Brassel? You're fighting somewhere. Oh, you're fighting the wasps. I can tell. Wait, no, you're fighting something else. The wasps are over here. Maybe they're bigger, meaner wasps. Crap. Hey, wait a minute, another quest. Dinner prep. Tell our two maids they can prepare the tables for the meal. All right. Sure. Let's see if it says who their names are. Oh. Maid Maria, Maid Leona. There's Maria. working five years for the Carlsons. Start prepping right away. I assume there's Leona. Or Lilona, I'm sorry. 
have a lot to do here. Pavement is very good. I'll start work immediately. All right. Dinner prep. You know, isn't that really weird? So the, the reward they're giving us is a healing potion, a greater healing potion, and leather leg wraps. And I get the whole quest system thing. But let's think about this for a minute. Have you ever asked somebody to do you a favor which required them to just go to another room and do something like like call people to dinner? Right? Or or you know, or call them to go do something else, right? And then come back and the person go, here's a pair of pants. Right? <laughs> What's the cook doing with a pair of pants, by the way? That's another good question I have. Like, if, if the cook gave me, like, a meat cleaver, that would make a little more sense, right? Or, or even a chef's hat or an apron. But a pair of pants? Why does the chef have a pair of pants? I find this, I find this somewhat questionable. Maybe it's his pair of pants. He took them off game to you. Now he's cooking naked. Good job. Yeah. Could be. It's, it's naked time for the for the chef. Could be. There we go. All right, these are a downgrade for us now. I'll put them down here. One armor. They're all one armor. I, I like the black shoes a little bit better. Those we gotta wait till we're level five to use. All right, what quests do we have? Oh yeah, we gotta find the teddy bear in the barn. Hold on. Any other quests right here? No. Okay. Oh, I see a quest over here. Also, I'm pretty sure that if you're in the same area when you gain, like, XP, like, as a, a party member, the other party members get some of it. Because it just said at the bottom there, you receive 20 experience. And Brassel's not that far away, you know, fighting wasps. So I'm going to guess that it it's a good idea to group up. Because you'll just get little bits of XP here and there. I wonder if that's actually coming out of Brassel's XP... Or if that's separate XP for being in a party. Am I stealing your XP, dude? I don't know. Wouldn't that be weird? Help our workers bring the harvest boxes over. You'll get something for it. Can you find the boxes in the field south? All right. Good friend Alan Darriston has complained he has a few workers. He has too few workers at the moment. If you need to work, see him. He owns the farm, which is west from here. We'll do that later. We're going to look at our quest. We got like four quests now. Uh, let's go grab the box, the harvests. That looks like one. Is that one? It is. Okay. Grab the harvest boxes. There we go. Pretty sure that's everything we needed there.
Harvest collected. Five armor. Hey, the robe of beginnings. And another quest. We can wear this one right now. There we go. Collect wasp stings. Damn wasp destroying our harvest. Bring me 12 of those and give you plenty of rewards. Those are level 4. That's cool. Find Rory Pulu. Check on my worker Rory. Haven't seen him for hours. Somewhere north of here. Follow the path to the right of us and then up through the vineyard. Should be right at the north end. Got it. Alright, so we're supposed to kill some wasps. Wasp stings. You know, like a dozen of them. You're out of this game, tired of getting lost. I don't like it. Not for me. Alright, dude, no problem. I don't blame you. I'm sad to see that you got lost. Like, I don't know. Like, I was able to find, to see your location on the map. I don't know if that was just not working for you or what. But it's all good. You know, it doesn't have to be the kind of game for everybody. I'm not sure if I like this game myself right now. It's where we're sitting at well it could be because you're tired yeah sure i mean right now it just feels kind of basic i understand that there are like dungeons and stuff but you know i don't know what level we got to be to go do them hey these wasps drop greater healing potions that's pretty cool Prefer AQ3D over this hands down. Yeah. On that, I will agree. And I'm not sure if this game's going to be free, like, forever. Because it's in an alpha state right now. And if you didn't notice, and I'll bring it back up here in the character screen, it said something about free account. So, holy shit. What do we got here? All kinds of stuff. Um... Yeah, whether it stays free, I don't know. But yeah, they're going to have to do a lot of work to compete with uh, with AQ3D. Right? I think that's a big... Uh, big shoes to fill. Explore a little bit the screen. There's a button called shop. You go in there, you can buy time as more experience or something like that. Mm. Well, I assume I was wondering about this too, because we got health. This is energy, but it seems to refill relatively quickly. And this looks like mana. The blue bar is almost always mana, right? I was kind of wondering if this game was going to have one of those like mobile uh, energy bars or energy things. Those started in a number of like web based MMOs. You can only do so much in a day or in so much time. Unless you pass money, you know. What? Ray is searching for me. Damn, where are they? I am sure Ray will get mad at me. Went and Connor found a cave north of here. He wanted to go in there, check out what he finds. A time ago, workers already told that they had heard noises up there. You go through the woods right here and check on him. Level 5 sword. I think we'll do that later. Oh. 
Kill furious bears. Uh, we'll collect the quest, but I got a feeling we're... Uh... Mm. Quest log is full. Oh, shoot. You only have like five quests at a time, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Really? Well, let's kill some wasps. That's weird. That wasp went around instead of just flying over like the other one did. Oh, is a greed need and greed roll. Look at that. Holy shit. Uh, let's need roll that sucker. Those boars you probably take out. You have to use a health potion. Oh, gotcha. Dude, look at this. Level four. Eight armor, 23 life. Shabam. These wasps actually drop some pretty good stuff. And if you needed to grind levels, I think these wasps would be good ones. Right, did we get enough wasp stings? It looks like we did. Let's head back to uh, them over here. Here's our reward. Six armor and life re point one life regeneration. And two armor, seven life. Well, that's a that's an upgrade from the stuff we were wearing. And now we get to choose, do we want... So this is plus one armor on pants for level five. Why? That is a terrible quest item. There's some life regen on these. To be honest, this game at the lower levels at least plays like a solo game. Yeah, very much. It looks like it's going to take a while before we see the dungeons. I don't know where we're when the dungeon's going to come up. Six armor and life regen. Yeah, where was that? It said free account. There it is. It says free account. Over here on the side. So I don't know what that necessarily entails. And then there's gems. And I don't know if those are maybe a premium currency. Or not. It's hard to say. The game is still very early. It's in alpha. So who knows. So do I want six armor and some life for Jen? Or do I want eight armor and just extra life? I think eight armor and extra life. For now. Uh, they're, they're probably comparable. Point one life regen isn't that great. Once you stack it up with like, you know, more, I guess. That'd be pretty good. Now right, let's look at our other quests. We know there's the one to go kill bears. Not sure we're ready to do that. Um hmm. There's a farm back to the west. Or we could go north. And we can go into the barn. Why don't we go over here and go to the barn? Probably find that teddy bear. Wasp fighter, level four. Those are a little tougher still. Hey, welcome back. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Yes.
Oh, he poisoned me. Wow. We got a lot of trash on him. Gold coin symbol on your toolbar is the shop. Oh. But there's the barn. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. I'm not sure what to expect here in the barn. There's the teddy bear. That wasn't too hard. So these are not the same wasps that count towards the quest. Thank you for bringing him back. You can have this. Found it with the workers. Don't know what it is. Healing potion, right. <coughs> she has another quest. Talk to Hjalmar Carlson. Haven't seen my uncle Hjalmar Carlson. He should be in the wheat field northwest from here. Uh, yeah, sure. I want to go west and then north. Mm, do I want to go through that mess? I don't know. There's going to be wasps either way. Let's go south and then west talk to this guy sell the trash and sell the other stuff that we don't want four armor 14 life oh that's an upgrade hello Apparently it's a free account. You can only have 10 friends. Well, that's good, because I don't think I have 10 friends in real life. No. <laughs> but yeah. So is that is that it? That seems kind of like a not very large penalty. That's pretty generous, if that's the case. Oh, we're level 5 now. We can wear these. Two armor and seven life. Three armor and health regeneration. Let's go with that. Yeah, I think that's better. We can equip this now. Seven to 14. We leveled up somewhere. That over here. Get rid of this now. Warden of Truth. I think... Uh, I'm not sure which one I like better yet. We'll just hold on to that one. Alright. Reading that one thing off of a full account, you get 15% less experience. That's not a lot. Everything's 15, 15 seconds longer. Respawn time has... Okay, and then full 20 quests. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Those aren't game breaking though. That's not terrible. Let's look at our log here. Wheatfield Northwest. We gotta go up and around. Oh, excuse me. Another cave up north. Northwind Farm. We're going to find Alan Darriston. Unlimited friends, no keys to dungeons. No keys needed for dungeons. There's dungeon keys? Ah, uh, that's questionable. 
it, you never know, right? Like, they have dungeon keys in uh, AQ3D too, but they end up not being a big deal. Northwind Farm is north of here. All right, we found Northwind Farm. I'm pretty sure that's an again. Yeah, I say I think we've been. I feel like we've been here. Oh, well, maybe not. These you earn through certain quests, as you can also buy them. Huh. Shortage of workers. Let me see what kind of work I have for you. You get a straw hat. That's level six. I don't know if I want to pick up these other quests. Find Ashka. Asko has a hurt foot. She has to be somewhere indoors. Well, that's easy one to go grab. She's indoors. Find Luja. Southeast of Far Shore. I'm going to wait on that one. We have a limit on our quests. All right. Bring me some ingredients I can start cooking. Both storage rooms. One of them is upstairs. All right, go grab storage. Sounds simple. What does it look like again? Oh. Need eggs, fresh meat, onions, and potatoes. We get a level six item. Eggs. Fresh meat. We need onions and potatoes. Those don't look like onions or potatoes. But I guess the other ones are probably downstairs or somewhere else. So there were two storage places. There and here. That looks good. There you go. We're taking ages if I've done this myself. Well, I guess her foot's broke. So, that's kind of sad. Like, nobody's in there to help her. They expect her to go all the way uh, all the way upstairs and grab food and bring it down. Some rude-ass people. Tell my husband the meal will be ready. You know where he is outside. All right. Basically, he's expecting her to cook with a broken foot. Cooking may not be so hard, but, you know, it's the going upstairs to go bring stuff down. I don't know. It seems pretty rude. There we go. Good thing we're here. All right, what other quests do we have? We can go grab these, but we have to go off around. Let's see. The wheat field. Some caves to the north. Stinging wasps. Did she have a quest inside here? We're done with her quest. All right. I'm going to go grab this quest. Oh, he's got another quest. Find Dirk. It's level six. He is north from here where the animals are. Uh, Hold on a minute.
the Liscombe family southeast of Farshore. Where we're at. The Liscombe family. For a greater healing potion. I think I'm just going to remember where this dude's at. He's at Farshore, Northwind Farm. Northwind Farm. North of the graveyard. Let's work on these other quests. Northwest from where we were. Pretty sure we want to go this way. It's up here. Northwind Farm. Well, oh, oh, there's a level five pig. I don't know if we're ready to fight them pigs. Sound brutal. Weird bad things about those pigs. Uh, we've gone way too far. We're on the coast. We're way too far. Yeah. All right. Chicken. That's right. We've been killing our fair share of chicken. It's supposed to be a wheat field around here somewhere. Probably take them. Yeah, I'm... I would imagine that we can, but... Waldbeck Shire? Is that what it said? We're gonna go meet the hobbits? We're gonna go Pididlid in the Shire? What are those? Brown sheep, level 5, huh? Why well, I got a feeling we're gonna get killed by brown sheep or something. Whoa, look at that rocky terrain up there. You'd be entering some dangerous territory, baby. This looks dangerous. We probably shouldn't go north, but I'm going to go north. I want to see if I can go off. Whoa, how far does this map go? Quite a ways. What is this? Vig trim. We're definitely not supposed to be there. I almost guarantee you we're not supposed to be here. But. Whoa! Level 21. Run! Oh god, he charged me. Hell out of here. <laughs> I don't know what that pig was. He wasn't the same pig that we saw down here. Those are the ones Brassel was talking about. Holy shit. You charged my ass. There's a level 9 slime. When you see bears, you've went too far. I don't know what that was. I, th I think it was like a... Oh, look at that copper vein. Damn. This is where the cool stuff's finally starting to happen. Or at least the slightly more interesting stuff. Here's a wheat field. A rusty bucket winery. All right. Now that we got some adventure in us. Dark to Carlson. Britta sends you. That is lovely. She worries about me. I am fine. All the workers have run away. Uh-oh. Well, that's probably bad. Why is that? He needs a pitchfork. He lost his pitchfork in the field. Right? And why haven't you gone out to go get it? Probably because of the wasps. Right. Handle. You look strong enough to handle this. Of course I am. Surely I am. Wasp fighters. Kill six wasp fighters and find the pitchfork. Well, 
Uh, that's a pitchfork, but it's probably not his pitchfork. No. This is probably laying out somewhere. Level four, that's not too bad. We can fight those. There, I bet that's the pit fork. Just lay it around. Actually, we're doing pretty good. Broken hoe. No, that's not the pitchfork. Hmm. That sure looks like a pitchfork. There's another quest, but I think our quest log is full. One, two, three, four. No, we could technically get another one. I think we've talked to this person before. It's hard to... Oh, it's Rory, yeah. For the boars. Right, we don't need... We don't need that yet. We gotta kill these wasp fighters anyway. Where's this pitchfork at? How is that not the pitchfork? No, it's not. I don't think it is. I could pick it up. So where is it? Is it somewhere in the field? I'm not seeing it. I mean, maybe it's a drop for all I know. I just got to keep fighting wasps until it just falls out of the sky. I don't know. Pants of Honor. I mean, I assume it's not this one. Oh, there. Is that it? Got it. It wasn't in the dangerous area. It was just outside. You're the best. Eyes are not so good anymore. I tend to forget a lot. Okay, that makes a little more sense. That yeah, wasp god will give it to you just for a reward. Yeah, you know. Maybe. Alright. Go back home safe without worrying about those things are going to attack. Yeah, sure. It's not lost. Yeah, it was kind of like sitting right there. For real. Alright, well we did get something new. Let's see if it's any good. Right, we got these pants of honor, which are garbage. Oh yeah, oh we're le we're not level six yet. Uh, grass cutter, seven to thirteen energy or seven to thirteen damage. Cool down one and a half. Cool down two seconds. I think I like this one better. But it says it's like a ninety-five percent. Lazy old man, yeah. I'm not sure if this one's actually better or worse. It says 95% hit chance. Where this one I would imagine is 100% hit chance. So you kind of want to equip things of your level, it looks like, or use things of your level. 
I'm not sure. So we might miss more. I don't know. But it should be quicker and be more damage. Well, it'll be, it'll be quicker, but not more damage, I guess. Sorry. We'll see. All right, other quests. There's a cave. And there's stinging wasps. We're going to look for stinging wasps. Well, those ones, those ones sting. I don't think that's what they're talking about, though. They kind of overused wasps in this game, didn't they? They're like literally three or four types of wasps right now. All relatively close to each other. They maybe should have spread out the whole wasp thing a little. What quest did you have? The bears. Guess we're going to accept it. We got some open spaces for it. That's a wasp worker. There's a furious boar. Well, maybe that's a furious boar instead of bear. I wasn't paying attention. That's got to be the right, the right quest. Let's go. Let's go, piggy. Watching a new iDubbbz video on YouTube. Man, I, I haven't watched iDubbbz videos. I think I've seen about four of them. Some of them are pretty pretty interesting, pretty funny. There's a couple things where he's made a couple of good points. I think. But then there's like a lot of stuff that I'm just like, eh. Unexplored winery cave. All right, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We found him. This game brought to you by the Wasp Appreciation Council, probably. Vile short sword. There are too many monsters. Seven to fourteen, six energy, one and a half. But it is level five. It's more damage. It's got a, it's got a le one and a half cooldown, which is definitely better than this. Not sure. I think grass cutter. I don't know because of the ninety-five percent hit chance. It's only five percent, but I think we're gonna go with this. You don't want to be missing. Kill little cave bugs. Just kill a few cave bugs so I can get deeper into the cave. How many quests do we have? I think we're oh, we only got like four, two quests right now. So we got to kill a furious boar. All right. And collect their wings. Bitching about Supreme Clothing line. Circle trick YouTube channels. Wait, what's a Supreme Clothing? Is that, is that the, uh, is that the Markiplier Jacksepticeye? Didn't they start their own clothing line? Bring me six cave bug wings and show off to my friends that I killed them all alone. Wow. Is he bitching about that or somebody, is there somebody else? All right, so we need to kill one more boar. That's not going to be hard. There's a bunch of them. But where are these little bugs? I don't see these little bugs in here. I have to go down here, I guess. They're not going to show us the... Uh, map. It's okay, though.
Rice gum? I don't, I have no idea who that is. I'll tell you this much. If I open like, if I open like a, you know, like a private window or incognito, whatever they call that. Or, you know, like a way that you log out of... Basically, it's like showing YouTube that you're not logged in. And if I look at YouTube, I don't recognize anybody on on the front page. I'm just like, who the hell are these people? Of course, I hear that's kind of the big complaint with the YouTube Rewind, right? Like, everyone's like, where's all the people that actually, you know, should be there? <laughs> what do we get? Five armor, two critical bonus? Yeah. That's not helpful. These bugs are just big enough to be giving me some uh, problems, though. We don't want to get overwhelmed by them. How many do we need? Two out of six. Two out of eight. Shoddy ass clothing. Overpriced. That everyone buys because of the logo. Oh, okay. So it's not related to a YouTuber specifically. It's just the brand. Well, are they paid? Are they paid sponsors? Are they being paid to do these videos? Weezer made the best YouTube Rewind video? Yeah, you're damn right. Like years ago, right? Actually, I, if you're not talking about the Buddy Holly video. Actually, that wasn't even on YouTube, was it? The original... Weezer Buddy Holly video? Or did it start you? It was one of the early, may have been one of the early YouTube videos. YouTubers are paid. Yeah. Huh. Ima imagine that. You know, paid sponsorship. They're hawking a, hawking a brand. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'd take a paid sponsorship if I believed in the item. Oh, they made. Gotcha. A book, copper pickaxe. What does the book do? Level eight. Finds on use, mining resources. Huh. Oh, who's this guy? Two, three, four quests. Just making sure we got room. Bill the Cave Explorer. Looks like there's some bigger stuff up ahead. I'm gonna wait to do his quest or even pick any of them up. We know they're there. Let's just go back this way. Finish up our bug wings and stuff. They made one recently mocking it, but they did it better. I'm not surprised by that. Definitely not surprised. Honestly, probably not that hard to do. The YouTube Rewind was kind of a joke from what... I haven't even watched it myself. But what clips I have seen of it, I'm, I'm doing the same thing I always do. Who the hell are these people? It's like, oh... I saw Markiplier for that split second. I recognized him. Who's everybody else? <laughs> Where are we at? Six out of six. Do two more little cave bugs. Come here, little cave bugs. But I guess there's a lot of things they didn't put into it, which is what people are bitching about. 
Like, you know, there was like that, like KCI Logan Paul fight or whatever. I really don't care, but you know, it still probably should have been in the YouTube rewind, right? In fact, I heard that there was a lot of stuff about Ninja in the YouTube rewind, which is really hilarious because last time I checked, all Ninja does on YouTube is upload archives of his Twitch broadcasts. <laughs> so basically you're saying, you, 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 you're basically saying that you're going to give credit to somebody for uploading the Twitch archive. Yeah, that's YouTube Rewind worthy. I kind of agree with YouTube Rewind complaints. Who decides? Yeah, oh, true. Who does decide, right? 500 billion channels, different genres of content. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to please everybody. I agree. But if it's... But let's follow this logic, though. While you're not going to agree... While you're not going to please everyone... How do you end up with the single most downvoted video on YouTube? Right? Like, there's pissing off of somebody, and then there's pissing off a lot of people. Like, how do you manage that? Let's take a break. Make a make a break for it. There we go. Come down here. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Uh oh, piggy's trying to get me. That's all right. Piggy's kind of low level. I should be all right. That said, I don't want to. Just run through all of them. Man, I feel like it's taking a while. Taking a while to get that level. Come here, you. There's some quests. That done. That's our inventory. It's fine. All right. Finish that. I don't know. People like to form angry mobs, rally around shit they're told to dislike. Didn't think it was that bad. Well, I mean, that that's that's a fair point. They're they're also they also like to form mobs. They also like to form groups and you know hype things too, right? Kind of goes back around to some of the problems we've talked about. People get a little overexcited about things. When it doesn't meet their expectations, they're pissed. Come back shortly that I am fine. Yep, go back to Rory. All right, we can put on our hat now. Get a straw hat. Look at that. Aren't we looking dapper? We got some shoulder pads. Blam, look at us. We look, we look kind of like a cowboy. I don't think there's anything in here that we really need. I keep that book, I guess. Most of this is garbage. All right, let's just go out of the cave because it's nearly like one o'clock. I think I need to head back into, like, town, so to speak. Fight you, bro. Did we have a level 6 weapon? You just gotta call the fuck down and use your brain. That's why I don't use reviews to judge games. Depends on the reviewer. Depends on the reviewer. And I'm not saying that some reviewers are necessarily... Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's quite a few that aren't that aren't trustworthy, so to speak. Right? But 
I think there are some that maybe don't get the full information, right? Like, it depends what a review, what do you constitute as a review? A really good case for that would be Echo, uh, not Echo, uh, not Echo Assault, but Soul Worker. There were a lot of videos put out when Soul Worker first came out from a lot of big name uh, YouTubers, so big name that do MMOs, right? Talking about how good Soul Worker seemed, and they and they'll they'll tell you in their videos that they played it for a, only a certain length of time, about four to about four to ten hours, right? Only a few hours. We found out having streamed it or attempting to stream it for a month. Shenanigan seal approval, patent pending, all rights reserved, trademark, yes. No, the thing is, they only played it for this short length of time because that's, and a lot of these, a lot of these uh, were, were sponsored videos. Well, not a lot of them, a couple of them were, but most of them were, we only played this for X number of hours, 10 or less, and they were just glowing about how much they loved it. In the first say six hours of the game I also would have given it a positive review right heavy air quotes on that because six hours for an MMO is not is not an accurate representation okay on any MMO but I think I don't think that the people even the ones that got paid were being dishonest what I think happened was the people that make Soul Worker, a review goes two ways. Oh my God, it's right. It's the second coming. Or whoever plays this is a, yeah, yeah. That's usually what you get, right? If that's yeah, you get that. You get and on YouTube, well, I wouldn't. I necessarily wouldn't look at YouTube reviews in general because you got. Uh, look at the YouTuber when you do it. And look at how they act. If that's the way they talk, like they only have this glowing positive or this super negative, then they're probably not a good reviewer. I can, look, anybody that has any critical skills, right? And by that, I mean ability to critique something. You can probably find something good in every game, even the worst games ever. And likewise, even the best games ever, you can find something to complain about, right? So going back to what I was saying, I don't think the reviewers purposely misled anybody. They were told to, to go play the go play Soul Worker for the first four hours and tell us what you think. Make a video on it. With the people who made Soul Worker knowing full well, the first four hours of Soul Worker seemed great. It's once you reach hour 12 that you start to go... Ooh. This game is going to be an absolute grind fest. So, I would say when it comes to reviews, consider the source and consider what amount of time they put into it. Now, it's a lot easier when you're talking like a movie review because obviously a movie isn't any longer, you know, if, if you go out to watch an Avengers movie and you'll watch it's the same one as the, as, the, as the critic did, you're watching the same film. It's the same length of time. Gaming is a little bit different. We know that. Gaming is what it is. Like, that's going to be a different medium. All right, we are here. We should probably, yeah. There's been some. There's been some pretty strange reviews, and you guys not. You guys didn't forget the uh, the infamous uh, Cuphead review, did you? That that didn't happen that long ago. Remember the the reviewer who couldn't jump, didn't know how, didn't understand how double jump worked. Or, or oh, I'm sorry, was it couldn't didn't realize they had to jump off the platform, and then do, you know and then do like a double jump move. They just totally it, 
just didn't register. Or how about that that Doom? Do you guys remember that Doom video? Where the person, the, this reviewer, was just so bad at Doom that people are like, why did you let them review it? Tastes alone depend are different. Yeah. Tastes different depending on person. That alone should put the concept into question. Yeah. You know, that's another thing, right? Like, you're not going to hear me. Well, I haven't even done. I, I don't never even played a MOBA, even on Friday. Right? Because I don't really like MOBAs. But if I was to do, if I was to play one on, on a Friday... I'm probably not going to think very highly of it. I may not say it's terrible, but I'll probably say, well, I didn't like it. And I'll, and I'll it'll probably will come down to the fact that I really don't like MOBAs. That said, that doesn't... I, I'm not qualified to give a good opinion on whether a MOBA is good or not. <laughs> right? There's a heavy bias there. That's another part of where, like, considering the source makes a big deal. Makes a very big difference. Uh, Call of Regret. That's a terrible name for a shirt. Sounds like it's cursed. The free game man. Well, free games, but... Yeah, there's some games that... I, there's some types that I like more than other. MOBA, MOBAs are free. A lot of them are. They're at least free to play. Any free game? Yeah. I, I mean, technically, I could do that. I could say that, but... You know, truth is, I'm not going to be an, an accurate judge of some types of games. I'm not a big fan of MOBAs. I'm not a big racing person, right? Like, I don't play a lot of driving car games either. Right? So, you know, if there's some race game that I do that's, that's free, you know... How good is my critique of it? How accurate is it? I don't know if that's really a, you know, a great, you know, you have to, you have to think about who's saying it and what they're known for, what they do, what they like. All right. What else do we got here? Kill the stinging wasps. You know, we still didn't find the stinging wasps. I don't know where they're at. Anyway, what I think we're going to do, though... Well, the escape key doesn't work. Ah, O for options. Uh, let's log out. Shenanigans' favorite game, Doki Doki Literature Club with the MOBA Battle Royale driving mod. Yeah. That's got to be it. God, I think you figured it out. Yeah, I would absolutely love that game to death. It means I'd probably kill people if I had to play it. <laughs> that sounds just about right. Doki Doki Literature Club with the MOBA Battle Royale driving mod. Yep. All right. So this is Stein World. So we're going to get in the other game in a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to obviously bring up the URL for Steinworld. The only opinion that matters in the end, to me, is my opinion. Yeah, I agreed. Everyone was saying the Two Worlds is absolute garbage. You tried it and loved it. Yeah, Two Worlds looks fine. I yeah, I agree. I, I I do. I totally get you there. And that's that's really what it comes down to. Do you like it? Of course, you don't know it until you try it. And if you're trying, like, the whole point of, you know, anyone else's review is hopefully to get an at least an idea of whether or not it's worth, you know, buying or whatever. Is it worth your money? Is it worth your time? So, but again, it's, it's, take it for what it's worth, man. Anyway, you're right, though. In the end, it's your own opinion that matters. You know, case in point, I... I don't care much for Warframe. Best you can do is find a reviewer that has similar tastes. Yeah. 
I yeah, I, I'd say that's probably about as good as you can get. Find find a reviewer that's very similar and hope that it, they're similar enough that what they say in the review is, you know, relatively accurate to what you would think. Uh, but yeah, like I'm not a Warframe Warframe fan. Like if I had to choose between the between the two, I would rather play uh, Defiance 2050. I like Defiance 2050 way more than I like Warframe. I don't like Warframe. But I know that I'm probably in the minority. I know for a fact that that's a minority thing. Uh, min uh, that I'm in the minority. Why? Because Warframe is really popular. Defiance 2050, not so popular. <laughs> so, you know, just because I like one over the other doesn't really mean that much. You know, doesn't mean anything to the Warframe community, that's for sure. Yeah, Noble loves Warframe. A lot of people love Warframe. I I don't. I, I, I very vastly prefer Defiance. Glowing reviews, the internet love, like Witcher 3 or Assassin's Creed. Personally, you can't stand it. Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. It happens all the time. All right. So here we go. Let's talk about Stein, right? So my thoughts on Stein, and this is going to come with a very, very heavy uh, disclaimer. And that is that it's an MMO. And as you guys know, if you've ever seen any of my other stuff, I think spending a few hours in a game on an MMO is probably not an accurate depiction of the MMO. Like, MMOs take a lot longer to really understand. So keep that in mind. Imagine this more as like first impressions than a review. So, of what did I see in, you know, the, well, let's see, 1 a.m., three hours that I played. What did I see? What do I feel in that three hours? Okay, so positives. Let's start with that. Uh, art style. I like the 16-bit graphics. Very like Legend of Zelda-esque during the SNES era. They're cutesy. Uh, they look they look uh, relatively clear, you know, for 16-bit style. They, they look good. I'm a fan of pixel art. You guys know that. So on, on that front... And even the music, it's a little repetitive, but it's fine. But all on that, I think, is good. Music and graphics are fine. Um, that's not what's important, though, in a lot of games. What's important is gameplay and, at least hopefully, gameplay and story. And even in MMOs, people will debate whether or not story is even important. Uh, but let's say, for example, that it should be. I am wondering where the story is in this game. It starts out, and thus the name Stein, is that you're looking for your family beer, Stein. You wake up drunk after a night of drinking and realize that it's gone. And there's a storyline about fighting some bandits who apparently have gone off with it. You find that out, but really, once you leave the tavern door, once you leave the... the the confines of that room or of the inn or whatever and get outside that door you're then tasked with everything else you know all the other things that's going on everywhere else and the story just kind of disappears we like since we left the inn have we heard anything about the stein or the bandits no now I understand that you'd probably want to drag the story out a little bit more but it feels really strange to not have heard about them all this time. Not have heard anything in like two hours plus. So I don't know if there is much of a story. The NPC uh, dialogue is about as bare bones as you can get. I'm not going to be, especially being that this is alpha, I'm not going to critique some of the like grammar and spelling things. Um, as far as I could tell, for all I know, English isn't even their first language. It may be translation. And if that's the case, it's pretty good. I've seen a lot worse. Um, 
but really like yeah you know that's fine it's, it's what it is especially at alpha that said like the story what dialogue we are getting is kind of very bare bones very basic there hasn't been anything here that stands out it's pretty bog standard um combat feels so far very dull we haven't had a lot of options you have clubs and swords right now we have a mana bar which i would assume means that somewhere we pick up spells there are a lot of different skills apparently available this is all again first impressions i don't know what's going on in only three hours of gameplay i can't give you a full rundown but it looks like it takes a little while to really get anywhere into the game and if you do like a longer i don't necessarily want to say grind because it hasn't necessarily been grindy but if you want something a little more slower paced maybe this is something you're interested in um i'm okay with slower paced games but it just feels like there's it just feels kind of dull so far it's not showing me anything really new and it has some comp there's a lot of competition and this we don't know if this is even a free-to-play game this is currently in a in a, like a public alpha right and it knows and there are it looks like there is a free-to-play there will be some like some restrictions for free-to-play but they didn't look real bad at least that and this is all very early so who knows it may change um so at least on that front i guess that's okay like the whole free-to-play on this is low in restrictions but Brassel made a, a good point earlier tonight that said, really, would you play this over Adventure Quest 3D? Both available on a multitude of devices. In fact, AQ3D right now is available on even more than Stein is, I think. Okay, so multi-platform. Yeah, yeah I, I would say, uh, no, I'd probably rather play Adventure Quest. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who this is targeting as for an audience, necessarily. It's going to be difficult to find its niche. Uh, maybe there's a deep crafting system or something in there that, you know, we didn't get to dig into. I know we're going a little bit long talking about it, uh, mainly because there's a lot of speculation. Because, again, we didn't get to play long enough to really experience too much. This would deserve, you know... A, a much larger, longer look than we've given it. Uh, do I necessarily want to devote that time to it? Probably not anytime soon. There's a lot of other MMOs I'd rather spend a month playing, I can tell you that. Uh, not that this is necessarily a bad game. I don't want that to... I don't want anybody to get that impression that it is bad. It's just not doing anything different. It's not special. You know, if we had, like, special abilities or something, and we could have picked, you know, uh, again, it's alpha, so maybe they'll do some other stuff there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. As it stands, which is what we're working with, it's just very standard, very basic. Now, for a, a I guess, in some ways, that's a positive. If you are new to the genre, maybe this would be a good introduction. But honestly, like... Again, comparing to Adventure Quest 3D, you get to look at classes and stuff like that, and you get introduced to those features, which I think would probably benefit you better as a new player. Because pretty much every other MMO has some type of a class system. Even if it's skill-based and you build, you know, where right now, this looks like it might be even more freeform in the long run and even harder to understand. So... Yeah, I'm not sure who the audience is here. Uh, Zaz says, Skyrim, save the world from a god dragon. Fallout 4, find your son, avenge the murdered spouse. Morrowind, complete a prophecy, save the land from a disease. Stein, find your beer mug. Yep. And then, and like many of those other ones, the story gets lost for a, for a while before you come back to it. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know where the where the actual like w who they're aiming for. I feel like if it's going to be like a crafty skill-based game, like we have other things. We have RuneScape and to a lesser extent, uh well, a less a less developed extent Tale of Toast and tons of others, right? 
if you're looking for class abilities, like attacks and all that stuff, and something a little more interesting combat-wise, well, there's Path of Exile. If you wanted a, a casual game that's, that's you know, just kind of something fun to hang out with, there's Adventure Quest 3D. So, like, I don't know who it's trying to, yeah, I don't know who Stein's trying to appeal to, but there's enough competition all around that I don't see it really, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand who this is for. Uh, they need something to stand out. I guess that's the big, that's the most important part. They need something that stands them out from the others, and I don't, I'm not seeing that yet. That said, it's still alpha. Maybe they'll find, maybe they'll find their, their rhythm. I don't know. Um, as it stands, not a bad game, just very bog standard, nothing spectacular. So there you go, Stein. Uh, I think that's all as far as I have to say on Stein. So it's time to switch over. We got a bonus game for you guys tonight. Let me get a uh, sip of beverage for my own Stein here. There we go. And let's switch on over. Let me get a cut that. There we go. And close the game. All right, we're going to switch over to this one here. It's brought to you by Noble 6117. I don't have the address up right this second. It's but you can find it you can find it you look for little red writing hood two D's. Was it Riding Hood? I'm not sure. Uh here we go. You play as red, you must find lanterns, turn them on to progress to the next level. It's very it's his very first game. Yeah. This is Noble's first game. Uh it says press left mouse button when near a lantern. It won't show visual it won't visually show anything new but it works there may be some load times between scenes just a heads up okay i would say 2d's is probably not correct it seems like that it's that it's not but i mean whatever it's... <laughs> that's all right all right there we go this is Noble's first game. I like the uh, I like the character, the little character design. I'm trying to think, it reminds me a little bit of like Orko <laughs> from the old He Man. All right, new game. Whoa. I like the texture. Oh, where are we? I did click apply changes. Uh, Noble says that I've got to find the actual level. I'm assuming I have to leave this area. Oh, there we go. That's better. So now if I hit escape and I go to options. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay. Big difference. There we go. That's not so bad. I've seen games that don't have options at all. <laughs> so is your first game... Oh, did we swing with our lantern? Are we going to be fighting stuff? So we need to go find roses. And I'm going to assume that's the edge... Those are probably very deadly spikes. I would imagine. Oh, 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 we're doing something. Oh, it was glitching. I guess the next level... I didn't know we had. I didn't. I wasn't sure if we got everything. Okay. So this looks like a trampoline. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna springboard me. Oh, it is. Yes, it's a jump pad. Oh, I don't. Guess we don't need the apple. It's kind of loud. The music's 
not bad though. It's a, it's a little loud, but it's not bad. I like that you've added an extra dimension to this now. We're like 3D in it. Oh, apples heal. I should be careful and not use them until I need to. I landed right on the mushroom. Like an idiot. Before I jump off of here, I want to see if I've gotten everything. Oh, there we spawn. Okay. There's a floating. Oh. <laughs> Rip, yep. There we go. Haha! I hope that was intentional. Oh shit! Oh, uh, I can go. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, that was gonna be a lot worse. That was kind of cool though. Uh, did we do everything around there? I like that the level design is like kind of open. It's a little sprawling, so it it feels like I can kind of go. I don't have to do things, like, in a very linear order. It feels like I can do things in the order that I want. Or, like, I just see, see an area and go, I'll go that way. Which, I'm a fan of that. Did I get... No, that one's still there. Come here. Come here, you. There we go. All right, let's hit you. I don't know how much of this I missed. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Damn. Oh no, all right. Oh, feel a little slidey. Okay, so I gotta hit that when we come back. There we go. We'll hit that, I hope, I got it, oh. Camera's a little, a little shaky there, but I got it. Okay. Missed it. God. <laughs> Zelda Scroll 6. Looks better than Skyrim. <laughs> Shots fired at Bethesda. It runs better. It runs better than Fallout 76. Alright, hold on. I gotta bring that. I gotta bring this down a little bit. I'm yelling over the game. There we go. It already runs better than Fallout 76, that's for sure. Oh, 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 shit. I looked over at chat and realized it was too late. We got stuck in a weird spot and just died. That's all right. Oh, oh no, no, go back, no. Damn it. There's like a little bit of a slide on it. It feels a little slidey. Oh shit, that was my fault. That one was my fault. All right, I'm done sliding on. I'm just gonna jump on him like I probably should be. I'm gonna slide onto this one. 
Then we're gonna jump to this one. There we go. Stop screwing around. Actually, is there anything back here? Oh, there is. That might be the exit. That looks like a house. I'm gonna come back to that. That looks different. Let's let's go to that in a moment. Oh, there we go. Uh, apple, apple's fine. We need to hit this lantern. Oh yeah, I should have. I yeah, I should have mentioned that. I guess did it not show up on the window? Sometimes it do, it doesn't show up. But yeah, it's definitely this is a Unity game. This was made in Unity. Noble, obviously, would know. <laughs> but to confirm, I saw the Unity logo. Alright, I'm gonna hope we got everything. Did we make it? Oh. Oh, are we back in the house? Dungeon crawlers are fun. Throws wallet at Noble and Hollow. Take my money. Now we're back. We're back in the house. Oh, there we go. And it takes us back to the thing. Oh, the uh, the last screen. Okay, on the last screen, the key. Whoop, the mouse is like locked. I don't know what's going on with the last screen. Hold on a minute here. Yeah, something's really weird with the mouse here. I can't interact with the button. The last screen, the mouse froze. Okay. Okay, you know that that's a thing. Okay, good. All right, so let me... Uh, can I... You, there's no music on the things, which is fine. I'll just bring up... That's fine. I'll just bring up our normal uh, music. You have to task manager to quit it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to leave that up for a minute. We'll put some music on and we'll we'll talk briefly about the game. Right. So I don't have the link. Yeah. I don't have the link for it right offhand. In fact, no, actually I do. Here it is. If you guys want to play it for yourself, I'm just gonna drop it straight into chat. There you go. Blam! Noble 6117.itch.io. Little red ring hood. There you go. So this game was made in four days by our very own Hollow, aka Noble. Uh, he's been a been a, a bit of a friend of mine for a long time. Played Minecraft together. We met over on the Fossils and Archaeology server, and and yeah, we've been been you know kind of buds for a while. Um. So you know. I'm just going to say that because there's always, like, bias when it comes to things that you guys should know, right? But, and, and I, I want to say that, it, just, there you go, that you, you should know that. Um, this isn't necessarily a review or anything, but I'd like to keep things, you know, at least somewhat professional. You guys just need to know, it's disclosure. Uh, but, okay, so my thoughts on it, it well... I don't think it's intended to be like a super duper, it's more of like a proof of concept type of game. That said, in four days of work, it's better than a lot of the asset flips you're going to find on Steam right now that they're charging money for. It actually has an options menu, which is better than a lot of the asset flips that you find on Steam right now. There's actual work put into it. I don't know how much of these are Unity assets. I've never seen that character before there. The little floating... Well, she's not floating. She actually has legs. But there, it looks like she's bobbing up and down floating. Um, I've never seen that character before. I don't know if that one's an asset. I would. I almost think that that's not... Oh, that this was all made? Oh, okay. So there's a lot... So the models are not assets. There you go. I was going to say, the trees don't look like the stock Unity trees. So... A lot of the models in this game are actual handmade by someone. They are, well, all even the assets technically are in asset packs. But these are not assets. So again, more work put into it. Um, as far as the game design itself, uh, the levels have a mostly open feel to them. They're not entirely like sprawling open, right? But they're not entirely linear. So you can kind of go 
different directions. The artist created his own assets. Yeah, right? Go figure. Um, but no, the uh, the level design isn't, uh, it isn't entirely linear. You have some choices to what direction you want to go. That's cool. The uh, A lot of the stuff I thought was very easy to understand the concept of. Um, I, did, I was like, what the mushroom do? I walked over it. It damaged me. I'm like, okay. And it was like kind of a very like uh, like 101 game design, right? Like you put something in front of the player, let them experiment and see what, what happens. And immediately I knew, okay, don't touch it anymore, right? That's a hazard. Um, but there's other things like the sunflower being a jump pad. I almost immediately recognized that as I bet this is a trampoline or a jump pad. We've been kind of conditioned in games that things that are like big and flat and circular are going to be trampolines, right? It's like if you see a red barrel, it probably explodes. Um, so I I don't know exactly like if, if that was something intentional or not, but I think the design, as far as that goes, were, it was very easy to understand what the things did. Um, I'm not quite certain, like... I think when it comes to like the number of roses collected, you, there should have been there should be like a uh, max number, you know, like it tells you four out of twelve or whatever. <laughs> there you go, subscribe. That's right, subscribe to him. He's making stuff, guys. Um, because it was hard, so it was difficult to understand when I was done with a level, like because the way the levels are designed, there's a little they're a little bit of a maze, so you don't know exactly. When you're done with it, you look across through the trees and you go, oh, have I been there from that angle? You don't necessarily know that you've been there, even though you have right at a different angle. It looks like a different area. Um, he already knows the. you already know Noble. You're right here. So there's the feedback for, you know, as, as it is, um, you already know that there's something about we have to click the lanterns. They don't make a feedback. They're probably supposed to turn off or change color or something that I'm sure that'll get fixed later. Um, the light source that the character actually carries, I thought, is a pretty cool touch. Uh, that was very cool. As an early thing to actually see a moving light source uh, for a, from a new designer is pretty cool. Oh, no. Noble, are you not listed as a regular? <laughs> Nightbot, what are you doing to me? Stop it, Nightbot. You're attacking my... Now you're attacking my moderators. Stop it. Noble's one of my... Di he's my Discord. One of my main Discord moderators. Nightbot's attacking him. Stop. All right. So, let's see. What else What else is there to say? I, I actually like the the basic... <laughs> you hacked it and took him off the list. Of course. Uh, it's, a, it's a rather basic art style. I like the aesthetic, particularly of the main character. The other stuff is, is you know, a little basic, uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. It all fits together. None of it looks out of place. And you'll see that a lot in, like, the asset flip style games, right? And this isn't an asset flip style game. There's another reason why you can kind of tell that there was work put into this. Everything looks cohesive. It looks like it was done by the same person, right? It has a similar style to it. So... Uh, let's see what else what else is there the black mage yeah yeah I am getting that with the eyes very much like the eyes of the black mage and then the red outfit uh, gives me like that orco from the old key man but it's supposed to be like red riding hood I, I still I like the character it's a great character design it's real simple it's like one of those characters that would be really easy to draw for a cartoon right and that's that's really that's really cool um, nobody loves you, Nightbot. You're adopted. <laughs> Stop and get some help. <laughs> yeah. Nightbot's going to learn a lesson this weekend. I'm, I'm going to take him out behind the woodshed and thank him properly, guys. He'll be different. He'll be different when he comes back. Or I'm going to send him to, to Military Academy. He's going to go to Oates Military Academy. Anyway, uh, what else is there to say about to say about the game? Um, I think that's probably about. Oh, the, the the controls. Controls felt a little floaty, as in like there's a little bit of slide 
it feels like there's a little bit of slide on the character. Uh, like, like when you stop pressing the move forward button, it feels like there's a little more time of where you're still going forward. It's not the worst thing in the world. I've seen a lot worse. But, you know, when you're platforming, you're that's going to be one of your, like, oh, man, the controls need to be super tight. Like, there's only a little bit of platforming. Um, so, but, it, you know, they're, they're not the worst in the world. They're... They're all right, though. I've seen I've seen better, but I've seen a lot worse. Again, in commercial games that people want money for. <laughs> so, dude, for four days of work as a very as a very first title, I gotta say that's not a bad job at all. That's that's pretty. That's a really good. That's a really good game for that amount of work. It's short. It's something you you see for a game jam. It even says something about a game jam, right? You were you were doing a game jam. It says game jam twenty eighteen. So this is yeah, yeah, not bad. A pretty good effort. I really uh, I really think you got some potential, man. Character design, uh, level design, pretty good. And, and yeah, nice. Overall, pretty pretty decent stuff. It's not gonna win like a super duper game award of the year. But I think it runs better than Fallout 76 does. So there's that. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, are we going to do anything else tonight? It's getting kind of late. But the only thing I probably could do is, like, open, uh, you know, maybe I open a treasure chest in Adventure Quest 3D for the day. I really don't feel like, like doing too much more in, in there, like, even grinding or anything tonight. So I think, actually, we're... I stayed on like another half hour. That'd be like a like a four hour stream. I usually don't even stream that long on uh, on Fridays. Uh, is there something we're missing? I feel like there's something else. So uh, I mean, uh, as long as we're good, I think we're gonna call it a night here. We got to see got to see Noble's game. It's okay, Fall seventy six didn't get awards either. <laughs> Right? I don't think they're going to. At the rate they're going. Of course, with uh, with Noble's game here, you don't have to worry about canvas bags and uh, and clients uh, getting their document, you know, getting doxxed. You don't have to worry about any of that, guys. You, all you have to do, you know, you can leave a comment through itch.io on his page. You're not going to get doxxed for it. So that's really good. Better than Bethesda, guys. 2018. Better than Bethesda. I just noticed that there's like a blinking light back there on that back rose. Staring at it now. I'm transfixed over ne right next to the house. It's blinking. Why is it blinking? I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Anyway. I think that's going to be it. Let's go see if there's anybody we can host for the night. Noble, thanks for... Uh, making this and let us check it out you guys it is free link has already been dropped if you want to go check it out you can find it also also on the discord but yeah kind of cool little kind of cool little try uh oh uh i i know i mentioned it while i was playing uh, but some of the camera angles especially the one like that one little spot where the uh where the pit was where you, you had to get up onto the uh the moving platform that particular angle was like, like I'm okay with weird camera angles as long as I can move the camera around. So it wasn't the worst ever. But I know there's going to be some people that absolutely are going to bitch about that corner. <laughs> They're going to, oh, your camera angles are terrible. Blah, 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 blah. So get ready to hear that. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll hear it. Zaz is out. Yeah, no problem. Let's go see if there's anybody we can, uh, we can host. I don't know who all's even there. I know Brandon was saying something about uh, Hoppa Bear still. Hoppa Bear doesn't look like she's on now. Oh, she is. She is. She's playing uh, Hearthstone. She does Hearthstone Arena. Uh, what else do we got? What is Elder Phoenix doing? Because right now we got YouTube people and we got Mixer people. There's nobody on Twitch from what I can tell. If you're on Twitch right now, say hi in chat. Because as far as I can tell, there's nobody there. 
I'm not seeing anyone in Twitch. All my peeps are in YouTube and Mixer right now. So if that's the case, we should find somebody on Mixer to host. I'd like to host some people on YouTube, but that doesn't work. YouTube doesn't like community, apparently. We, we've already talked about that. Uh, Phoenix is playing Dead by Daylight. What else do we got? We got Kiba. All right. I think I think here's what here's our choices. We got Kiba the Barbarian, who is, by the way, a multi-streamer. You can find him on a couple of different channels, including Mixer, which is what we're going to... You know, if we host him, it's going to be there. He's playing Dragon Quest XI. If we wanted to host Twitch, we got some other options. We got Katie Taylor playing some music. We got uh, Smidgey doing some stuff. And we got Hoppa Bear. Uh, I don't know what Smidgey's up to. Let me go see. Looks like she might be singing as well. She is. So we got some singers on Twitch and some Hearthstone. Considering most people right now look like they're on Mixer and YouTube, I think we should host somebody on Mixer. Because we can't host somebody on YouTube. So there we go. Just YouTube doesn't like community. All right. Enough of my complaining. Let's host. Why don't we host Kiba? Kiba the Barbarian. Let's give him a shout out. So that if you are somewhere else, like YouTube, you can go find him. You might find him on YouTube. I'm trying to think where all he streams. He's multi-streams. I know that, but Mixer is kind of like his main spot. So I'm going to give him the Mixer shout out. He's playing some Dragon Quest Eleven, And that's some games that I can get behind. That's a good game. So... Let's go say hi to Kiba. We'll be back Sunday for Adventure Quest 3D. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And so, yeah, I'll see you then. I'll see you uh, after the weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. More Adventure Quest on Sunday. And then we'll get back, of course, to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Reckoning. Words. I'm not good at them now. I'm going to shut up. Good night.